Uh, we live? Are we live? Yes, we are. Are we live? Yes, we are. Veldak, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Thanks for being here right from the beginning. So where were we? Um, we just got attacked badly um, and then came down here and cleared out all of the purple biters in this area. Let's make sure these are all regen biters who by themselves can't do a whole lot but backing up the other types of biters can be pretty nasty. Um, yeah, I should probably go clear these yellows out at some point. I'd like to get, um, destroyer capsules first. Do I have fuel? I do have fuel. Let's go. First, I saw it's two minutes until stream starts, so I got ready. Nice, thank you. Ben Wu, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Second, indeed. Jaws Balzla. I always have a little trouble, not pronouncing it, but like making sure I'm not going to mispronounce it, if that makes sense. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well also. And so what I want to do right now is... Uh, for one thing, wait until we have some destroyer capsules. Are we making those? Uh, what do we have? Whoops, wrong button. Capsule. We have 43 distractor capsules. Seven more and it'll start making destroyers. But I guess we have some higher priorities right now since I just came back with no poison capsules. Uh, I was going to make at least one assembly three. I'll queue up those to get autocrafted as well, but I don't want to um, take up too much of the autocrafter's time right now. End all the biters? We can't do that right now. Maholic, good to see you again. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. How'd the rest of your stream go? Healy, good to see you again also. Soon. I do like that, uh... I do like those mic ladder modes. I'm starting to add circuits to my stations. Destination stations are already wired and... Announce when they need a train. Now I'm hooking up prio control to source station. So it'll be easy to understand how it works in a real life example. Nice. Um, I actually learned something trying to figure out your um, trying to figure out your vanilla prior station setup. Uh, I didn't realize, but maybe I just never got around to trying it or having a use for it. Uh, maybe I just forgot, but I didn't realize that vanilla stations knew when a train is on their way, which, of course, they would need to. It kind of makes sense, I guess. Um, but the train count is something that you can read, which tells you how many trains are on their way and or parked at that station at the time. Uh, let's go for two more of these speed twos. And it looks like right now we're bottlenecking on... The bots anyway. Actually, no. Oh. Yeah, I was gonna say we're not getting stone brick delivered. I should probably put... I should probably add a constant combinator to this requester chest so that we are always requesting certain common items. regardless of what recipe we're on.
Okay. It was okay, just tidy up work while science grinds, fair enough. Revan, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Do we have our speed twos now? Oh, they're waiting to find room in my inventory. And one more. And... Where is it? Again? Get out of here. There we go. So we went from crafting speed of like... Uh, well, 0.75 times 1.6 to... 1.25 times uh, 2.2, I think. 2.75. Much better. Alright. Um, so that'll give us destroy capsules eventually. I wish I'm... Um... Oh, I can actually. Where is it? I was going to say... Yeah, yeah, I can, I can see the list of stuff we're trying to craft right now. Uh, it's everything that's positive going into this decider combinator. So once we do another 14 poison capsules, uh, it's going to be destroyer capsules and distractor capsules. But I'm pretty sure distractor capsules just come first in the arbitrary order, uh, which is lucky because it's a prerequisite. Um, but yeah, we will be making destroyer capsules quite soon, actually. Artillery... Is it 94%? Are we going to get it done? We need another... Ignoring the prod modules... Uh, 60? 60 science packs. So that is 60 stone. Check. Uh, One-fifth of 60 blue processors. Check. One-fifth of 60 solid rocket fuel. Check. Belts. Um, do we have steel plate? We do. LDS. Small electric. We've almost run out of small electric, but we do have enough at least to get artillery done. Fantastic. All right then. Um, I'm definitely going to have artillery made by the auto crafter. It'll be simple to arrange. Do we have explosive... We'll, we'll have to make explosive cannon shells. Um, we can... We don't have to make a process... A targeting remote. We can use the navsat for that. And um, not take up room in our inventory. So we need explosive cannon shells, artillery turret. And I don't know if I'll use the wagons yet. Explosive cannon shell. Um, a hundred. Artillery. It's nice that we can queue this up before we have the research done. Let's say ten of these. Explosives are on their way. Explosives should always be here. Um, but I might turn that off until we get our destroyer capsules. Uh, and then we need the actual ammo artillery shell. We can later make nuclear artillery, antimatter artillery, and I guess that's it actually. Hey, Mikelet. Andy Gaming, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. S. Jones, Tail and Grandmaster, Red Stonier, welcome, welcome also. Mikelat, thank you very much for forwarding, uh, paying it forward with the gift sub. Or well, continuing, sorry. I misread it slightly. Cheers. Uh, thank you very much. Big Brain, thank you. How's the rest of your stream today?
While you were building factories, I was studying the razor blade typhoon. My pleasure, thank you. I love your emotes, by the way. Very, very easy to look at, very easy to read. Look good, clean, kind of nice, kind of cute. Um, this is going faster than expected, but what was my target? Well, who cares? I want the destroyer capsules first. I like the artist, indeed. Um, artillery is going to be done before we get our destroyer capsules at this rate. We just need three more of these before we start making destroyers. But as soon as we make one, it's probably going to swap back. What have I got this set to? Mod settings. Uh, crafting combinator. Is it up here somewhere? Yeah, here it is. 10 seconds. I think I'll change it to like 30 seconds. So we get a bit more, you know, we'll overshoot our target with the distractor capsules and then when we change to destroyer capsules we'll make a few of those without switching back on the recipe. She did the character design as well. Takes a while. Her work is in high demand, I can imagine. Uh, I've actually got someone working on some emotes right now-ish, actually. I don't know about ETA or anything, but that's fine. Um, Alright, what should, what should I do while I wait for this? I don't want to go back out and fight biters while we're waiting for a few better supplies to fight the biters. Um, did we finish all of the blocks that we were building? Yes. Yes. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, definitely yes. Oh, I didn't... Oh, I can see how many of these are active. With the map view. That's much easier than looking at which ones are spinning. Especially because they're not just falling into the usual pattern of the first lot you know, in order, they start getting used until the whole thing's saturated. Uh, plastic. We need plastic. We can't upgrade our artillery at all until we have utility science and or production science packs. I could get uranium ammo. But it's not going to give us... Okay, uranium anti-material rifle might be pretty good, actually. Might be really good for how cheap it is. We can't get, like, nuclear artillery yet or anything like that, though, I'm pretty sure. Nuclear locomotive. That's cool. Oh, it has a different weight. What do we have here? Here it is. So we need the atomic bomb before... Uh, well, we get it at the same time as nuclear artillery. Alright then. What should we be researching now? How much more can we research until I have to do something? At least 60. And then... If I do more pick a dolly's nonsense, another 250, 500, okay, we're fine. I'll just have to do some more of this finagling. Um, oh, that's actually still got small electric motors. Nothing weird about this. Don't worry about it, it's fine. Alright, so what should we queue up? Probably the uranium ammo, it's quite cheap for how good it's going to be. 
uh, follower robot count. Plus 10 from 30 would be a pretty big bump. Laser shooting speed and damage would not be the worst, but I was going to say with my personal laser it's not doing that much, but we're using a lot of lasers for defense as well. I think I'll go for damage first. Oh, it's actually proportional for the cost for the increase in DPS as well. Yeah, that should be fine. I kind of want to see the first destroyer. Oh, it already happened. First destroyer is in here somewhere. Uh, bear in mind that each one of these creates five destroyers, so it's a bit more than it looks like. Stack size 100? Compared to stack size 100 for the defender capsules, they're five times as dense in the inventory, which is fantastic. Robot lifetime is 180 seconds as opposed to 120, so 50% longer. Range 25 as opposed to 20. Shooting speed 4.2. 5.1. Damage 8 plus 4.8. Oh, it does electric damage though. 34 in total versus 12.8. Even considering the difference in rate of fire. The DPS on this is going to be way higher. 2.2 plus 3, that's exactly the same. I kind of expected that. How long does it take to make a destroyer? Uh, 15 seconds? Base speed? So if we're switching recipes every 30 seconds... Um, I would like to rate calc this with the destroyer in it. Can we do that? No. No, we can't. Oh, it's in here somewhere, the negative number for how many of these we actually have. I wish we could auto-sort these things. Oh, there it was, 52. Alright, here we go. Rate calc... Per minute? 11. Uh, per second? Per second times 30. 5.5. I'm trying to figure out exactly how many recipes we'll get before this switches again. And I guess it's 5.5, which means 5. Nope, that was actually pretty good. That was really good, actually. Whatever. So we've got uh, six destroyer capsules now, which is actually 30 destroyers. Fantastic. Alright, let's make some plastic while we wait for that. Stop procrastinating. Um, I also want... I do want the artillery when I come back here, hopefully. Alright, let's turn off RoboPort. And we're going to design a block for plastic. And it's just coal and petroleum, right? It hasn't changed. I am the sky. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. That oh, doesn't show it here, dub. Plastic. Why can't I see plastic? Is it in here? Am I blind? Two month backlog, wow. Plastic. Wait, what? Oh, it wasn't in that category. Select a re- It doesn't happen in an assembly machine. You absolute derp. All right, one physical, one fluid. That's what we need to know. Two coal makes four plastic. That's different. Is it like better UPS if it's one recipe to do, to do more stuff? I imagine, maybe. So 
we're just going to be bringing in coal for the physical side of it. I don't know if we really need these little two by... Oh, that was when there was... Yeah, we were doing two to four, but this is smaller than a four to four. I might still do this. Depends on the rate. So something like this. And actually, while we're at it, if we're copying layouts... Uh, can probably steal all of this. Because it's going to be one in, one out as far as the physical objects are concerned. And we should not have too much trouble finding room for the pipes. We'll still be able to leave room in the middle for a big beacon if we put the pipes here. Except then... It might be difficult to make this work for upgrading uh, to have either size of beacon. Let's get rid of these trees. Don't want them to be part of the blueprint. That doesn't go there. Wait, is this in the right spot? Yeah, it is. It's just this that's off. And these should be chemical plants. Chemical plant. I don't know which way around I want them to be yet. Probably fluids in the middle. So that we could fit a 4x4 beacon here. And then... Uh, can we have it both ways? Is the question of the moment. We could obviously do this. Actually, are we... No, that's fine. We could obviously do this in order to fit the pipes. But I think we're not going to be able to have 3x3 three three beacons if we do this. I could... Well, we're never going to have both at the same time, so I could always just turn it around. If I want to have um, three by three beacons in here or a four by four beacon here. So I'm not too worried about that actually. Building in cheat mode, of course. West dude, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And. Once more with feeling. And this is going to be requesting... Wait, I didn't mean to do that. Because we are requesting a fluid as well. Request threshold 50k for the fluid. 80 stacks for the coal. Uh, coal is going to be... We could do like 600 stacks if we wanted to, but we're not going to. 160, 240, three train loads should be plenty, even if we're going fast. 48 per second, that is just under one stack. Uh, that looks a bit weird. How did this happen? Oh, because I copied the two different ones. It's a mod that switches to sandbox, indeed. It's called editor extensions. Uh, and there's a setting in mod settings per player. 
Alright, so this is going to be plus pick provider. This is going to be coal and uh, petroleum. Where's petroleum? There it is. Requester. And we're making... Plastic using a chemical plant. And then we need the... What is it? 100k... Two train loads of petroleum. Should be fine. Let's get... Some fluid containment right about here. Oh, that's going to line up perfectly. This is also not bad either. Maybe I should do the version that's going to fit the smaller... Um, the smaller beacons first. Confused. Let's do a decon planner would be easier actually. And then this goes here. And that can go there. Uh, I can't copy-paste flip, so not with chemical plants, so let's do it this way. Rotate, rotate, and pipe goes here. Beautiful. And then we'll have a couple of steel pumps to take from the train, and then into here. Nothing wrong with testing them, but doing it in cheat mode doesn't bring you the pain of failure. It also doesn't bring you the pain of having to wait on resources just to build something to see what it's going to look like. Should I consider... We could actually fit this here if we wanted to, but I don't think that's necessary, besides which... We wouldn't have the path for the pipe here later on. Also, that's going to be uh, not quite symmetrical. Unfortunate. Alright. Uh, I think I'll have... These ones connect like so. Hey, damsel. Good to see you again. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. If you can't stop him, why call him out? Impotent rage. Supersonic trains? Yeah, we're not doing that. Uh, flip this, and I think we're almost good. Fantastic. Let's connect those two. And that should how much how much petroleum can this use? 960 per second. Hmm. I don't think we're gonna need extra pumps, but let's find out. Or well, maybe we should just put the extra pumps in in case they're needed in future. We've got plenty of room for them. Uh, 
Uh, and then coal. Infinity chest. Super inserter. Coal. Just one solid going in, nice and simple. And I just noticed this doesn't line up. There we go. And it looks like we've already got the inserters set up correctly because we copy pasted from the other build. What's the train unloader mod? It is called uh, bulk rail unloader and or bulk rail loader. It's, it's one of those. Oh wait, let's mouse over it. Bulk rail loader is the name of the mod. Uh, M, M, K, F, not sure how to pronounce that, but welcome, welcome. Okay. Uh, let's just make sure we have some power. And I think we're done with our plastic build. Nice and easy. Uh, don't tell me. We're one tile off of those pumps getting power. And then we'll need to actually get some petroleum into the rail network. But yeah, that looks pretty good. Any little detail that we might have missed before we save this? I'm going to try to see if I can remember without checking. Is it 8624? I think so. Petroleum. Basic petroleum. Train stop names, yes. And remove the cheat stuff. Wasn't there a... Did I get rid of it already? The infinity pipe? No, it's still there. But I didn't see it in the blueprint? That kind of explains some behavior I've seen since a certain update. You can't, like, copy-paste these. Or even cut them, for that matter. So it's impossible to put them in a blueprint. Good to know. Uh, and let's check... 8624, that should line up perfectly. Basic petroleum. Fantastic. And I want to put that... Uh, this build right here is depending on plastic, but it's incredibly slow. I want to put it relatively close to the coal. Coal has to go up here anyway as well. Got a little coal mine here that we need to build. Let's just put it here. I don't think we need to overthink this too much right now. And go build. We've already got a pretty good loadout for building. I have no room in my inventory. Fantastic. There we go. And away go the bots. Do I have a huge storage tank? I do. Hey, Evil Plum, Sigma Bean. Good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, let's go. A couple of steel pumps. And I need a 2x2. Two I also need chemical plants. About 48 of them, to be precise. Not that this will work before we put petroleum into the rail network.
Burgers and fries. Thank you for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. How's your stream? Hilarious. Welcome, welcome. Factorio. Fantastic. So we need to grab chemical plants. Uh, I think I already handcrafted this pump. I thought I already handcrafted this pump. Oh, there's more of them. One, two, three. And that's it. We just need 48. Actually, rather than have the bots deliver them, I'll just go pick them up. They should be here, I think. And make... No, I think I've been handcrafting them. This whole time. Chemical plant, 50. Oh, how much stuff do we have here? Artillery. 30 shells. And, and zero guns to use them with. Only six destroyer capsules because the artillery got priority. Alright, well, this should be done by the time I go back. Um, petroleum, though. I could just steal from the petroleum way down here. Oh, it's actually full. Yeah, let's do that. Just to get started. Except we don't have a whole lot of room to get there. Or I could pump it up this way. It's probably already here. Let's see. Pipe visualizer. This is petroleum, I think it is. I'm, I'm tempted to be very, very lazy here for the moment. And just pump the petroleum up here and make a little train stop. I think I will do that. Oh, something's happening. Uh, it's just walls taking damage. We're fine. All right. Have a nice rest of the stream. Thank you. 2.30 a.m. Gonna raid and run. That's fine. Going well, but I'm overbuilding in a way that is close to biting me in the ass. Oh, okay. Good luck with it. There go those accumulators I picked up earlier. That's fine. Uh, where be our petroleum? Here it is. And... I think I'll squeeze it up through here. Whoa! Flamethrowers do not go on the accumulators. Bad. That actually fit pretty well. That almost fit perfectly. Alright, not going to put a rail block here for some time, so let's put a train stop about here, and a big container right about here, a couple of steel pumps. I should really stop requesting the regular pumps, I don't think I have any reason to carry them. Let's change these to steel pumps. And... Where are we making pumps here? Get out of here, regular pumps. The only advantage of the regular pumps is they're slightly more energy efficient only when they're working, for some reason, well, probably the, the mods that they come from is the reason. Um, the steel pumps actually have zero minimum power consumption. And I just realized this probably doesn't reach. This is the one thing I don't like about this layout. 
I really like just having the one big container going into both uh, fluid wagons. But it needs some help getting there with the wire. Let's go standard pickup station. We're not doing solids, so we can get rid of the stack threshold. 50k provide threshold. And we're done. But we can add a name if we want to. And that's it. I don't think I have any uh, fluid wagons yet. So let's do that. Add it to the auto crafter while we're at it. Space fluid wagon. We can already... No, wait. We can't already make this. Uh, fluid wagon. There we go. Is that going to have priority or... Yes, it is. Very convenient. Let's get rid of these regular old pumps. I just need two to get started. And we'll add them to the depot. Let's make a blueprint while we're at it. Wait, this one doesn't have a schedule? Any... anybody else? Okay, they're saying no path, so they've definitely got schedules. Where are you trying to go? Core fragments. Uh, probably because we don't have this bit of rail up here. Wait, was that one set up correctly? Yes, it was. Fantastic. Alright. And I want our fluid wagons to be blue, as in water, I guess. Blueprint. Get rid of most of the rail. It's only there so that we can snap it into place. Fluid wagon. And... LFFL. And that will go down here. I need to start doing some more blueprint books within the blueprint books. Oh, we got some more research done. Fantastic. What was the other thing? Uranium ammo? Nice. I might start making that so we can make use of the anti-material rifle. Might just copy your mod list and add extra ores. I attempted to do my own mod list, but it was such a mess. Uh-oh. Uh, yeah, you can, you can find it down below, the mod list, or... I was going to say exclamation mark mods, but that might be on Terraria. It is Factorio uh, mods. There we go. I'll have to fix that in the break. Uh, what? Oh, the wagons have uh, equipment grids. That's cool. That's actually really cool, because the artillery wagons can have... Well, we can't give them shields yet, because we don't have shields, we have adaptive armor, and that doesn't go on vehicles. Um, but we can give them roboports, batteries, power sources, lasers... Definitely better than nothing if they get attacked by biters. I should make an artillery wagon with its own roboports. Oh, I like the sound of this. Artillery wagon with its own roboports. 
that will build the stuff around itself when it parks somewhere. Just got to make sure it can build fast enough. Uh, what else are we doing? Get started. Do we have the petroleum here? We've already got 180k. Wow. That didn't take long. Let's make sure there's a path. Both in and out. And let's go fix the path to... Why do you still have no path? Uh, what? It's coming off the roundabout. You should definitely have a path. If you can get to here... Oh, wait, no. I see the problem. Normally, that wouldn't go there. Uh... Sure. Let's do it like that. Alright, let's go fix the path to the core fragments. Robo ports on trains equals self-expanding rail... Tex Avery style? Uh, I'm not sure. It's, um... I don't know the Tex Avery reference. Henry Plank? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Doesn't Rampant have self-healing walls and repair turret? I don't think Rampant adds anything except making the biters stronger. I believe the uh, vehicle vehicle equipment grid is from K2, because I didn't specifically add vehicle equipment grid, I don't think. Oh, that's so fast. And our bots are catching up with us, and not anymore. Let's go see if our core fragment processing area works. Is that stone? Why is there stone in there? What? Oh no, I must have dumped it. I thought I think I thought this was something else. I think this is what I manually dumped in here. Oh crap. Um Where did I it was here that I had a drop off for stone. Alright, um... Hmm... I need like a long arm filter inserter, but we don't have those to clean this up properly. Unless... Does it actually go to this tile? It does. Alright. Let's do that. That one's looking okay, actually. Uh, but we're going to have to do that for every loader. And that one's probably going to be fine, but I'll make sure. And I'll dump as much as I can into my trash slots for now. Grab all the stone. Bring it back here. Even distribution. Once more with feeling. Oh right, the left side didn't have any stone, did it? This makes me think something's damaged, so let's get rid of that. Where are my bots? Oh, are they still crawling back? Or are they not... Did I put them in here? Well, there's your problem. Alright. 
Did we get all the stone? Probably. I feel like I should leave it here for a minute though, just to be sure. The filter inserters and chests, that is. Only spaceship walls? Can you use any for a spaceship? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The spaceship walls have to be specifically spaceship walls. Rampant arsenal that has the self-healing walls. That makes sense. Westiex, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, so... Um, we're already at 3.5k mineral water from here, which I haven't built anything to deal with yet. We've also got some crude... 8,000. This is... This is going faster than expected, to say the least. Um, is this thing busted? Yeah, 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 it's not placed properly. And neither is this one. I thought I found a way to fix those remotely, but apparently not. Alright, that all seems to be working now. We've already got nearly a hundred uranium from this. Uh, if I really want to as well, it's something I was considering, but I don't see a good place to fit it. I would love it if I could fit a crusher here, and we could just start deleting coal directly, if and only if this is totally full. Unfortunately, we do need individual recipes. Uh, for all of the crushing to delete resources, so I would need, like, either a crafting combinator setup or one crusher per resource. And if I did do a crafting combinator setup, first of all, I'd need to find room for the crusher anyway, but then I would have to belt the overflow all the way here. I'm considering... No. If we use a crafting combinator... Where's... Where are my combinators right now? Here they are. If we use a crafting combinator recipe... If we have like a universal drop-off to dump things... How you know that at the end of Inception they are still in a dream, is throughout the movie you see DiCaprio's children as children, then at the end they are still exactly the same despite it being five to seven years later. Is that so? I haven't seen that movie in forever. Press R to change direction. Oh, okay. I probably should have tried that. Nightfire, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Kenno, welcome, welcome. Is this still 0.5? This is 0.6. with Crastorio 2. And I just noticed a little single piece of pipe missing. Huh. Alright, so now we have... Where's our plastic? Did we build the plastic yet? Or did we just plan it? Oh, this is the plastic. I just haven't built the chemical plants. And we needed the petroleum as well, which we've added now. Let's go get some fantastic plastic. Bilbo, thank you very much for the resub. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. We'll try out a new SEK save tomorrow. Nice. Much appreciated once again, Bilbo. Uh, do I have a request for chemical plants? I think... I think I did not. We don't put them down that often, and, and I had to pick up five stacks of them. So... 
get out of here. Alright, let's go finish our plastic build. Not give up for once, I give up way too easily. It is a very long playthrough. Uh, having a number of people to stream it for definitely helps push through to the end. Alright, uh, and we're still missing red belt. Can I make some? 47. How much are we missing? 47? Are you serious? That's just too perfect. We do have to make some gears to make it happen, though. Oh well. How's our... Uh, how's our robot count coming along? We've still only got six. Can we prioritize this? Why are we making locos? I must have... I only built like one locomotive. I guess we only just got got around to replacing it. I suppose technically it was two locomotives, but you know what I mean. Have you tried yesterday's half block production uh, pollution scrubber? Uh, yeah, it has been running here for a while. It has run out of plastic, though, but... You can still, to some extent, see how it made a hole in the pollution cloud. And then pollution would start falling into it from the surrounding chunks. Very, very nice. Uh, I do wish I had a convenient spot to put it, like, in the middle of our pollution cloud for testing, but it's fine. I should probably make a version that isn't, like, part of a rail block or anything, so we can just drop one over here. But this is part of the spaghetti rail, not the main rail block system. So something like that would only really be useful in rail blocks? Uh, that's not quite right. I mean, we just need to change the build a bit so that it's not... Like, I built it in the right side of a rail block because the standard thing I'm doing is using the left side of a block so that we're just leaving room for expansion uh, when we want to double this later. but we don't necessarily have to use that space. So why don't we have coal here? Probably because I forgot to connect the storage tank and LTN didn't know that we're full. Let's put down an extra storage tank just for now. And I guess once we... How many trains are coming here right now? There's only the one fluid wagon. So once this is empty, I'll put it down with... I'll, I'll put a pump between... That's weird. Oh, no, it's not. Because the container is on this side. So this one's going slow because this was full and this was all pushed over here. All right, just another thousand, and away goes the train. And then I'll pump it back this way. Cool. Uh, so where's our coal? Probably on its way, question mark? 
I was going to say probably on its way, but we're blocked by this train. But no. Coal is full. Are we not requesting it here? Oh, well there's your problem. Couple of zeros missing. That is so responsive. Hey, Fraser K. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Should I start adding trees to the blocks? Just to make them look nice. And I guess consume a little pollution as well, but I'm not really expecting a whole lot there. Trees sound good. Indeed. We have still only six destroyer capsules. Are you serious? Maybe I should lower the threshold before we make some more. Actually, if it makes five at a time, why don't I just set this to five? Probably because we lose a bit of time whenever it switches. Because it's in the middle of crafting something. Get nuke biters yet? Not just yet. Not just yet. Uh, I might go handcraft an artillery turret. How much ammo did we get? Like 40? So what's the point of using this crafting combinator mod over a more traditional mall space or just novelty? Uh, yes. And also, the fact that we've got a very precious supply of requester chests right now, although I don't remember where I put the extra ones, including the buffer chests. We've got 12 buffer chests now. Uh, but yeah, we don't get... Um, we don't get logistics system until we've got cryonite and some complicated space science. So, having... All of these different things being made off of just one requester chest uh, is helpful to say the least. Because doing belt spaghetti for every single new build, it just, it gets old fast. Um, it's good still to do that for like high throughput, high volume things uh, in particular, like rail, but... For something like the destroyer capsules, um, in the long run, this is more than sufficient. We actually got, yeah, 40 artillery shells. Why do I see 15 here? They stacked at 25, that's so weird. I can already handcraft an artillery turret. So let's remind ourselves what sort of range we have with no upgrades. The dude that makes SE is working for Whoop, indeed. It would be cool if Factorio team buys out the idea from SpaceX. Uh, the expansion is going to be, well, I don't know exactly what it's going to be, but it's probably going to be pretty cool considering they did get one of the SpaceX people. Um, so are we getting that plastic? It looks like it's on its way right now. That didn't take long to get 8k. I'm really liking the... this size of train. It's such a good balance between volume and, like... fast. Volume and speed, that is. How's our steel build? Did we actually... Yeah, we got steel done. Fantastic. We're waiting on coke. We have coke. Or how much coke do we have? Slightly less than a trainload, I think. 
we're waiting on oh we broke it okay let's go fix it that's not code So we need to keep room for both wood and coal in here. Oh! It didn't copy-paste the limit things. That's cool. At least we have the filters on these. So let's see. Wood is twice the stack size of coal. We can fit 256 stacks, let's call it 250. 125 times 100 is 12,500. And coal should be half of that. Six. 1,250, I think. Yeah. 6,250. And then... Move some of the coal back here. It's already working. I don't really need to move that much more, I suppose. Alright, so that's coked on. Again. And we should have enough for a train. Fantastic. And where is it going? Uh, it's going to make steel. I really like this naming convention. It's going to the iron plate and coke drop-off where we make steel f with industrial furnaces. Alright, uh, so what's next? What is next? We, uh, I should do an oil block. I've been putting that off. Where are we gonna get our oil from? Probably here. And where would our blocks fit? Um... I'm not going to do these two blocks normally because mineral water. I guess we could use the half block still. I think we'll do our first oil block here. And let's get started. I had to stop myself from jumping to the editor there. Do not do that while you've got bots out. They will get... Not destroyed, but they will get transferred to the editor and you will never get them back. Along with whatever they're carrying. Is mineral water a finite resource? Yes and no. Um, these are finite, just like everything else, except for coal mining, which does give us some mineral water. In fact, we've already got 22k from the coal mining. Um, I'm going to have to hurry up and figure out something to do with it. Icons? Uh-oh. The steel one? Or what? We got coal mining... Everything up here has icons. 
Uh, I guess the copper plate doesn't. Depot doesn't really need an icon. What are we saying? Icons are bad? I was just saying icons are based for station... Oh, I misread it. <laughs> I thought it looked like a... I glanced too quickly, I thought it looked like a disapproving look. I use them too? Yeah, yeah, for the station names. I'm really liking this new naming convention. Alright, let's go get... Actually, before I go get some more rail, I'm gonna use the stone and steel beams that are in my inventory. Need some landfill. Do I not have landfill on me? I do not. Why does it show the bots when I type landfill? How much power do wind turbines make? Uh, 20 kilowatts, but it's just constant. It's not like it fluctuates or anything. So on a planet with bad enough solar, they're actually better than a solar panel. But I just wanted to put something into the rail blocks that would sort of offset all of our power needs as we keep expanding. Uh, unfortunately, the good solar panels later on are 4x4, and I couldn't really find a good way to fit them, so I went with the wind turbines. Oh, that's not what I meant to do, but that's okay, I guess. No, it's not. We didn't even add the rail. <laughs> Give those back. Uh, this goes here. I'll probably wait till I have Spidertrons to start spamming laws. Uh, Swiffit, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. 4x4 four four sounds like it would be super easy to make a blueprint of that, though. Uh, do you mean to fit the, fit the solar panels neatly into what we've got, or something else? I mean, I could put one here, one here, I don't love that. Besides which, we don't have the 4x4s yet. I can't fit any here regardless. I guess we could do it like this. We could certainly fit more once we have um, the pylon substations, but yeah, you, you can't fit two of them like so. We do get advanced solar... oh, that's already 4x4 as well. Alright, get out of here. Last build. Did I finish... Oh, we got 61 destroyer capsules, which is actually, it's actually like almost six stacks if we were using the old defender capsules. So let's take some. I want to make, uh, what is it called? Adaptive Armor Mark III as well, except we still don't have the lithium sulfur batteries. We need to make lithium. And to make lithium, we need probably lithium chloride. I know how to make chlorine. I don't know if I can make just chlorine. Yeah, no, this is how I made just chlorine, actually. We're venting the hydrogen if it gets too full. And we needed that so that we could mine raw rare metals. I should probably get a train to pick this up as well. 
We don't have to start everything from scratch. Also, let's stop using processed fuel for the jetpack because it's easier for the bots to bring solid rocket fuel. That's what the problem was, yeah. Uh, what was I coming back for? More rail. We got more rail. I didn't take uh, refineries or whatever I'm going to need, though. It's a short trip. So let's see. Um, chlorine plus mineral water. Oh, hydrogen chloride. Even better. We can just make that directly without the venting stuff. Sand plus water makes equal parts chlorine hydrogen. And then hydrogen chloride is, wait, what? It's one to one. All right, so sand, sand and water and a couple of steps gives us hydrogen chloride. And then lithium chloride is that plus mineral water. And then once we have lithium chloride, we can make, we can take the chlorine out and get lithium and then rip our perfect ratio. What? The sprinkler goes S P S P S P S P S P S P S P S P S P S P S P S P S P S P S P S P S E S S E S S E S S E S S E S S E S S E S S E S S E S S E S S E S S E S S E S S E S S E S S E S S E S S E S S E S S E S S E S S E S S E S S E S S E S S E S S E S S E S S E S S E S S E S S E Alright, I kind of want to take a little break from building and attack the biters. Um, but after that we'll do an oil block here and then get some lithium chloride batteries. Uh-oh. Just wanted to let everyone know that the iconic and epic movie Vampire Suck is on Amazon Prime. At least in the US. Fantastic. Can we make some more rail? We can get out of my inventory stone. Fantastic. Never heard of that one. You never heard of the iconic movie Vampires Suck? I don't think I'd have either, actually. Maybe once. I could convince myself either way. Uh, Vojtixa? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Name in base, sure. I think I have some leftover small stone text plates, actually. After this, we'll hit the biters. Uh, what the... I tried to... I tried to... No! I tried to copy-paste your name, but chat jumped. There we go. Fantastic. And I might just leave these here. Glacier Wolf as well, no worries. You wouldn't happen to have a 16 character name, would you? 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, I think. Glacier Wolf. Oh, did I typo it? Probably could have used Picket Dollies for that. Yeah. 
and Majagus. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Oh my goodness. Everything's happening too quick. Just wanted to remind everyone that the iconic and epic Christmas movie Hogfather is on Amazon Prime with ads. M I G A G I S. I think I misspoke saying G instead of J, but I saw it. No, auto save. All right, we got there eventually. Didn't miss anyone in chat, did I? Like, name in base or something? I think we're good. All right. Thanks again for the bits, West dude. How's our wall? Looking very good, actually. Looking very, very good. All right, so we're not getting nice armor before we attack, but we do have stronger... Oh, I can also use like 15 artillery shells. How much range does this have? That's it? Uh, what about... What about when we use the navsat targeting thingy? Wait, what? Oh, it's already there. Okay, never mind. Uh, targeting remote... Wow, that doesn't seem like plus 100% range. What the... Uh, automatic range 192, manual range 960? Okay, that's pretty different. That's kind of what I want, actually. Because we've got precious few artillery shells for the moment. Uh, I could probably... I would still have to park somewhere relatively close. We could use this island. Maximum cheese. Let's get some defender capsules first. Defender... I mean, destroyer. One stack. Should be way more than enough. And we can even deploy them more quickly than the old capsules. And what are we... Let's check. We've got ammo, we've got heals, we've got repair packs, we've got destroyers, we've got fuel, and we've got our loadout. Good to go. Gonna head to sleep. Take care, Mike Lat. Thanks for hanging out. Have a good one. And thanks for the, uh... Thanks for the raid. Now I just need to figure out what to do with $20 of Steam credit. You can get some bargains if you... if you look for them. And or wait for them. Let's go this island down here. I didn't raid? Oh my goodness. Yeah, I, I kind of doubted my memory there, but uh, a little bit. <laughs> Weren't on at the time. Fair enough. All right. Artillery go burr. I don't think anything's going to be in auto range. Oh, it is. Um, It's just a few... Maybe I should move it. Oh, well, that's going to upset them. 
it one shot the biggest worms. That's pretty effective. Alright, let's use the remote. And I'm definitely more concerned with hitting the yellow ones and the green ones for now. Look at the AoE on this thing. This is the basic artillery. Holy value. So 15 shells is going to go further than we might imagine. I won't try to clear the entire um, nest with this, but we can really soften it up. Since we know Rampant likes to respawn things, I should probably follow it in. And that's our 30 bots. Oh, the damages. Oh, wow. It's a new age for clearing fighters. Look at them go. Let's not lose any. They probably have more hit points as well, but let's not push it. I think they have, a, yeah, they do have a bit more range as well. I checked earlier. Zappy, zappy. Ouch. Nice. I'm all the more excited to get another plus 10 robot limit now. Oh, that was a mistake. I should probably put an artillery remote, a physical one, here as well, so I could quickly do this. Eh, maybe it's not that necessary. If we're quick. Oh, wait for the artillery, you derp. Here it comes. This is the way. Uh, is the artillery still coming? Or did I queue up more shots than we have? Probably the latter. Does the artillery order eventually expire? Hey, Andy Gaming. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I think they do in vanilla. Okay. I guess we're on our own for now. I'll just use the... Uh, I don't even really feel the need to use poison capsules now. Maybe against... Well, I was going to say maybe against uh, regenerative fighters, but that's just a matter of I should use artillery. Doing good? How about yourself? Yeah, pretty good. Pretty good. Things are going well. Uh, I actually crushed uh, Duke Fishron earlier today with my little practice setup in Terraria. I wanted to see exactly, like, okay, so if you if you make a journey world, you can spawn whatever you want, 
eventually you can fight things with god mode and on, switch it on and off whenever you want and so on. So one of the hardest optional bosses in the game, uh, I danced around with it with god mode on for a while to learn its pattern. And now I think I'm going to be able to kill it like with the earliest gear possible in hard mode with a bit of practice. Uh, even without DPS, this is getting a bit time-consuming. I hate Duke Fisheron, right? So, spoilers if you consider the movement pattern of a boss spoilers, but in his final phase, the part that's really dangerous, he'll teleport behind and above you and then dash once, repeat but dash twice, repeat but dash three times, and he'll do that over and over again. And if you're trying to just react to it and don't know that pattern, you'll get caught dashing one attack and getting hit by the next. But if you know exactly what to expect, it's just like a dance. And you can plan exactly when you're going to like swap directions and stuff. And theoretically, you should be able to fight him without taking a single hit. so bad at Terraria. It takes some time. The movement in Terraria is a bit different from just about anything else. Especially with all the diversity of like movement gear and different movement speeds and dashes and stuff. Your character at the start of the game is so much more sluggish than later on. Ragamuffin, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. That is a lot of biters. I feel like removing some of them just for like preventative UPS reasons. But better to go after their spawners. Uh, but yeah, my goal is... My, my ultimate goal, maybe, is to kill Duke Fisheron wearing free hard mode armor with like a clockwork assault rifle or maybe the laser rifle. Like, unless you get the breaker blade, you could go after it immediately after well, uh, Wall of Flesh. And then just be ridiculously overpowered after that. Possible Neko? Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Nice name. Bug Zapper, indeed. I think you have an infestation problem. Nah, we're good. It's only a couple of million biters. We're fine. The range difference on these uh, destroyers is very helpful as well. Let's go hit them somewhere where there's fewer biters. Come to think of it, I think I cancelled the order to build more artillery shells temporarily, so I'd better have a look at that. I want to use every second of these destroy capsules though, so we'll focus on that first. We could still benefit from some poison capsules. They're very cheap for what they do. I'm getting my destroyers damaged too much. Do you have expansion on? No, that's the one 
that's the one mercy I've given myself with the biters. We've got rampant, but we've got expansion switched off. Although with rampant, if you leave a nest not completely destroyed, it will at least somewhat grow back. That's why you see like underground nest looking things popping out of nowhere while I'm attacking the nests. I'm pretty sure the whole thing, or I, I don't know how far it would go. Like if you if you leave one nest behind, I don't know how much it would grow back with expansion off. But it's not zero. Get a bit more poison. Do another lap. Oh. Careful. SE solo with expansion would be rough, yeah. Love my Terra Sword. I've never actually gotten the Terra Sword. Still. That is the, like, final sword that requires all of the other rare swords combined, right? Not impossible, but you'd probably want to kiss Nalvis goodbye. Yeah, if I did have expansion on... I honestly would abandon Nalvis as soon as I could. Like, just point a cargo rocket straight at Hagen, and that's it. Come back when we can extinction bomb the whole planet. Or maybe, uh, energy beam it. Zappy zappy. Yeah, look at all these, uh, like, nest things that are spawning. I'll finish this nest and then we'll come back when we have artillery. Speaking of which, I meant to queue up more artillery to be built. around so they don't quite get hit. Okay, look at the size of that nest we just cleared so easily. Isn't that what space elevators and cargo rockets are for? Getting your stuff off the planet. All my stuff is there. 
Yeah, no, no. If this, if we had the same settings but with fighter expansion, the first cargo rocket would be an escape rocket. Let's go grab our artillery. Where did I leave it exactly? I think it was this island. There it is. Who's a good artillery? Has research stopped? It may have done. Uh, yes it has, because... Solid rocket fuel, actually. Why don't I just check... There should be a chest with lots of solid rocket fuel. There we go. Fantastic. Part of the appeal of the stuff is you have it arranged. Yeah, definitely. Do you really abandon Nalvis just because of the biters? I would. This is Nalvis though. But if I had the same settings but with biter expansion on, at the start of the game I would get off of Nalvis. And come back later. Alright. Um, so, artillery. I don't really feel the need for more than one turret, actually. Not yet. Did I switch off anything else? Trains. Alright. Let's do some building. And it was oil that we're doing next. Alright then. Uh, start with... One of these blocks, I think. I think I will use the whole block for oil to start with. And we want to start with refineries? It's just oil refinery, right? I almost got confused with the... There's like one fuel refinery that looks like this in the whole game, and these are the ones you build. But just to confirm... Now oil refineries look like vanilla oil refineries. Probably go something similar to this layout, but maybe we can improve on it. And the best recipe to get the most stuff is the light oil version. I think this time I don't want to go for like a single block that's going to try to do everything uh, with oil. We'll just do... I could do like lubricant for example from here and sulfur. Maybe. I don't know. I, I don't want it to like bottleneck on everything else when it starts cranking sulfur so much in the same block. I think if we're more focused on what we do in each rail block, it's going to be a bit easier to manage. So we're probably going for like two... Um, beacons? And I'll try to make it fit for the earlier game beacons as well.
how many of these would we fit? This is the middle. Let's mark it. No. And here. I guess if it's going to be symmetrical, these are going to look a bit weird in the middle. Probably won't do that. We've got five, six on both sides. Seems good. And we'll go for large storage tanks. Because I like the way they fit together, among other things. Uh, I guess we're not doing it like that. Actually, maybe I should try to fit together the really large uh, storage tank. This is already going to be excessive with the amount of storage we have, though. Oh, these line up perfectly with... Uh... Hmm. That's just going to mean that it doesn't fit well if we... You know what? I want to see if we can make them squeeze together just like this and have a good pattern. So if we're going to use the really big storage tanks, we'll have insane capacity and not as many containers. So it would be more UPS friendly. Uh, if we're going to have it directly go straight in to the tanks, then they're going to line up something like this. But, well, the beacons could go further up, I guess, for example. Or further down. One more tile down, and uh, light oil would go here, or vertically it would line up that way. Except I want room for cracking in between. Can we use, oh what were those filters? Import infinity filters, export infinity filters. Uh, probably not. How do I search a recipe name instead? I wanted to see if there's any other plant that does cracking. How about petroleum? Uh, liquefaction, processing, liquefaction, uh, faction, cracking, there we go. Advanced chemical plant and chemical plant, not to mention biochemical. Advanced chemical plant. Do we have those already? I think we do. Advanced. We do not. Okay. Good to know. It doesn't look like it would fit very well anyway. Chemical plant. We'd need one tile between them so that we could have the water come in like this. For example. And this would be heavy to light. This is probably more than we need, but to start, to start with I want to see if we can fit the maximum. Oh, that's a little bit unfortunate. 
at the way that lines up. Hmm. It's probably better to do the pipe spaghetti up here. And then... Just like that. Except I want a pump to be able to control the input of the water so that we can do decision making for cracking. So it would look something like... Uh, like this. If we do it this way. I don't love the look or the size of that. But let's call it plan A. Alternatively, I could have the pump down here, or even something like uh, the water comes down like this and then does a corner or something. And then... Does it have to line up with the middle of this? Not necessarily. We could move all of these over a bit. That's probably what I'll do. Uh, these could go... These, these could be moved over a couple of tiles. Well, not necessarily here, because that'll block the light oil. That would pr probably... Oh. Let's do... Let's, let's put these in first. And then we'll be able to see better what we need to do. And I'll ignore the beacon for the moment. Uh, we'll probably just end up removing some of the heavy oil cracking because we don't need that much of it. And we can fit a beacon right in the middle here. Uh, this should be more than double the heavy oil cracking that we need. So light oil would go here somewhere. We need to have input pipe like so, and I actually kind of like the way that lines up. Only trouble is the water from up there would have to go around the crude oil, but it might be slow enough that I wouldn't mind having the crude like this. Even with the late game beacon. Let's suppose we have tier 9s. Oh, I've got them here. And speed, and some efficiency until minimum power consumption. Let's get some power. So how much crude would this consume? Only 700. That's still like well within the range of not too difficult to go through a pipe even without a pump. Uh, power consumption is still super high. Now it's plus a hundred percent. Now it is minus 80. So this would only be 560 per second. 
Yeah, I think we could do the crude oil sideways. Which means we could have pumps controlling cracking up here, perhaps? Probably not this many. And down below, we want petroleum. Uh, once again, we will be wanting to have cracking. Might be a bit difficult to make it line up. But we'll definitely want vertically one tile above and below these ones. Let's copy paste this part. And make sure all of the petroleum ones are done. And figure out where, where this would line up if we don't change the other ones. We could have this one and or this one um, off of the cracking. Water would have to go... that wouldn't work. Actually, yes it would, because this is not an underground. If I use a steel underground... We can put this straight up here. And we could have all of our pumps that control cracking in a row. I like that. I like that a lot, actually. We need way more cracking from light to petroleum than we need the other way around. Uh, heavy to light, rather. Although it's probably overkill to have this many. And how many have I got here? Seven, seven, six. Apart from the way they're like uh, offset sideways, which we always end up doing anyway, uh, that is looking pretty neat, actually. Now the question is, do I want to do any more processing in the same block? Uh, if we're going to have one, two, three, four fluid outputs, I could do two at each station down here and control the output from uh, LTN. And we could get away with having... A couple of physical outputs as well, while still keeping it pretty simple. I like it. Fantastic. Thank you. Uh, so... That would go there. What would the rate look like if we were tier 9 modules? Uh... Pretty good, actually. We're still... we're super positive on light oil, even if we're doing the cracking. That feels weird. I guess that's productivity modules for you. And we get only 652 petroleum per second, surprisingly enough. This does give us more petroleum for the fluid that we put in, but we could consider potentially having blocks that go for more petroleum directly, like throughput-wise. 
But ultimately, we're going to be more bottlenecked on the physical resources, I think. So I think I prefer it this way. Fuel solidifier for excess liquid? Fuel solidifier. Uh, is that a machine or is it just a recipe? Oh, as in just making solid rocket fuel, specifically? Um, I could do... Like, what I've done in the past is... Cram as much as I can into one block for the oil processing. So we end up with pickups for, like, six different fluids, solid rocket fuel, explosives, sulfur... I don't want to go for that this time. Um, I'm thinking we have, like, heavy oil, light oil... Petroleum, lubricant, sulfur, perhaps, and, and what? What other physical, I could do plastic here, but we already did plastic, and last playthrough I ended up making a big block to make plastic specifically as well. Better off sending fish up in the first rocket? Uh, I don't suppose there's going to be anywhere I could fit regular beacons before we have wide beacons. These are actually only two tiles apart. That feels weird. I could put a beacon here if I wanted to get those two crackers. Uh, I can't quite touch these two. Hmm. Yeah, I think we're just going to have to not get too excited about basic beacons for this one. All right. Do all of these have the pump they need? They do. So this is going to be crude oil. This is going to be water. How much water can we go through here? 880 per second. So it's high enough that we probably want to put this near the coast and just pump water up instead of using trains. That's what I ended up doing last playthrough, even if I did build it to take water trains. So I think I'll just not have a drop-off for water. I could definitely move this down a few tiles. And we'll have our storage tank here, the crude. And I'll just have another storage tank for water, like wherever next to it. I'll avoid using trains for water for this build. Seems reasonable. In which case, do we even need a giant storage tank for water? Probably not. This side would consume up to 880. Wouldn't it be higher if we move... If we remove all the modules? That's only 70. something here. Apparently. I also just kind of like the way that looks. How much water is this? Way less water, actually. 
All right, so I think just one line of pipe should actually be fine for water here. Well, for each half of the block at least. And then connect that up like so, very neat and tidy. Seems good. So sulfur is literally just water and petroleum, right? Should we make that on the spot? What? Why can't I... There it is. Oh, that's not what I meant. Sulfur, water and petroleum. Should I make it here, or put it somewhere else? We can't really do it under the two beacons and keep it nice and neat. First water input's missing. Oh, up the top? Yeah. That can just go here, actually. Although, I guess it's going to make that part. I'm going to get rid of the undergrounds there, I suppose. Seems good. That is probably the tidiest oil build I've ever made. I don't love the way this pipe looks up here, but compared to the alternative, it's fine. Uh, and crude oil is, of course... Well, I think I'll still have two drop-offs for the crude. And the only question is, do I, do I still want to do some physical stuff here as well? I'm thinking maybe just fluid in, sulfur out, as well as the fluids. And is there, is there like one other solid I could make without bringing any solids in? It's not going to fit well under the beacon, though. I think I'll just stick with the philosophy that I was talking about before, which is... Keep it simple. And we'll just not have solid output here. We'll do our sulfur somewhere else. Alright, I don't suppose this reaches. It does not. We'll put our substation here in that case. And same thing on the opposite side. Uh, we don't need a stack threshold. We're going to have... Well, let's see how it happens to line up. Either of these could be petroleum. Uh, we've got two options there. We've got three options there. If we're going to have... That's not going to line up well for heavy oil. About up here. Not even a little bit. I guess we're just not going to have one of these line up directly. 
Hey, own galaxy. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And Vlad, good to see you again also. If I didn't say so. Alright, so let's say heavy goes here. Light can go here. Oh, wait. Yeah, if that's light, then it could just... That's fine. Oh, it goes so far. But we still need an extra pair. Oh, never mind. Yeah, there is a point to making this steel. Let's just do it like this. I feel like that's a bit more readable. So heavy, light, petroleum. Uh, could we squeeze in lubricant since it's just one step? Preferably under the beacons. There isn't really a middle tile between these two. But as long as they don't overlap or anything, that's fine. Yeah, we could definitely squeeze in some, like, lubricant right about here, for example. That's probably all we need. And then... Maybe I should just put that on the one pipe. Maybe add a pump. I don't think it would make a difference. Mm, we've still got a nice... Actually... Do we have a perfect spot for the pylon substation? I don't think so. That's one off. I could move the whole thing over one tile. <laughs> I'm very tempted to move the whole thing over one tile. See how that lines up. So this would have to be a bit different. The pylon substation would now fit in the middle and cover everything. Uh, lubricant. Go here. We'd have to change heavy and light oil. I don't think there's going to be a great spot for heavy oil, no matter what. We could put heavy here. Not quite. Oh, that fits really well, actually. That can be light. That can be heavy, I suppose. I should probably have a... oh. Wait. Can a regular... can these things... pipe weave? No, they can't. I didn't think so. Not that I would want to pipe weave them. Does this have an upgrade path? Yeah, it does. Heavy oil. Don't want it to collide. Yeah, and it has to be, it pretty much has to be here. I'll just do a little zigzaggy pipe, I guess. But I really should have a pump. Because we don't want... Uh, LTN thinking there's an amount of fluid available, and then it's gone. That's just barely not under the substation as well. How dare you. 
can't actually do that one. Hmm. Why is it these two? Because this one's taken. Uh, I guess this substation could go here. It looks a bit more natural on this side. And a bit less natural on this side. But that's just flipping which one looks weirder. Alright. Lubricant... I don't think we need to pump the lubricant, because this is the entirety of the storage. And then... So heavy, light, lubricant, petroleum. Uh, petroleum can just go straight in here. Except we need a pump, and it's not going to be in range. Unless we do something like this, which looks a little weird, but I guess it's fine. Actually, can I just... oh, I can. Perfect. Why can't I move this one up? Probably the wire connection. No. How about this? There we go. Hey, uh, Decipher. Good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, Raiders. How was your stream today? Coming in with the raid insta lurk. Fair enough. Thanks, Danza. Uh, alright, so this can actually go up here, looks a bit neater, it's going to be better for flow as well, and I think that's everything. Let's power it up and make sure all of the fluids go where we think they do. I might also throw in some substations while I'm at it. This is crude, right? Uh, Lucy Who, thank you for the follow. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And then... Something like this. Lee McLeod, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well also. Does this happen to mirror? It does not. So where does this go? About here. I think I want this as far to the side as possible, actually. Yeah, we'll have it come in from the sides in the middle. That should cause the least trouble, or approximately the least trouble, uh, for the fluid flow. I could also do one here, but I just don't think it's necessary. Conby, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, uh, substation. Right about here, I guess. And... Here, 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 and here? Is that symmetrical? I think so. And we're just missing power on a few pumps. So I guess... Put 
that in the middle. Oh, uh, it's not quite connected. Oh, one off. Oh, no. Oh, no. Alright, fine, we're gonna have extra substations. We'll just have to live with it. Is that the same distance? Nope. There we go. That's pretty neat. Alright, so let's cheat some crude oil. Oh, I'm probably getting rid of these uh, loaders. And some water. Whoops. No, 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 no. No, stop, 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 stop. Fantastic. Oh, it's so slow because there's no power. Don't need the beacons. And... Looks good. Yeah, it's looking pretty neat. Alright, let's get rid of the bulk rail loaders, since we're not bringing anything physical in. Uh, any solids, that is. Can this reach? It cannot. Alright. We're gonna change that, whatever it takes to make this reach the container. As long as it's still powering everything, seems good. And we're looking for, uh, let's say three train loads of crude oil. Alright, so we are requesting crude, and we're making mainly with refineries, uh, heavy, light, petroleum, and lubricant. That's our naming convention. And we're not going to have a train bring water because it's going to be a little bit slow. What is killing the lubricant? Oh, it's going into the pumps. That makes sense. Should I make room for more lubricant production somehow? I could not actually... Let's say we have it, like, here. Oh yeah, we could, we could do it like this. That's not quite right. Hmm. We could do it something like... Not quite like that. Uh, that's light oil. Wait, this doesn't connect. I missed a few. Uh-oh. Finally called up on all the Terraria vo uh, VODs. Nice. Bow shot. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. 
Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to figure out how to fit the late game beacons if we're gonna do this. Alright, so light, 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 light. Actually, let me do it this way. There should be two underground connections per refinery. That almost looks good. And then beacons would have to be... Well, we'd have to remove this. Beacons would have to be in the top row, like so. And therefore, we just have to change how we get our heavy, which is a problem. I mean, it's not a big problem. We're just going to have to be a bit more... That's actually neater in the end. I like that better. I'm kind of glad I had to do it. Although, if I have mixed colored pipes, I'm going to be a little bit unhappy. Only trouble is this whole thing is going to get tilted with this side being empty and this side being kind of full. But... Because we've got the big containers, we don't need as many. And also, we're consuming heavy oil from here as well. Um, I could also put... Instead of this spaghetti... We might be able... To put some lubricant build... On the side. Question mark? Something like this. And then... That doesn't seem... so bad. I think I like this better. Don't tell me that doesn't reach anyway. All right, regular pipe it is. And I don't want it to line up with that one. That should be more than enough lubricant. Wouldn't the tanks be more symmetrical if you removed the leftmost tank on the petroleum line? Uh, possibly. We've got an even number, though. Or I could just add one here. That's fine, too. We need the, we need more petroleum than anything else, so... Or, or, or I could remove these two as well. I kind of like that a little bit better, yeah. Except then this doesn't have an output for petroleum. So let's do that. And technically we could fit more heavy oil, but I don't want to. Mega oil grid? Yeah, we should only need one of these for quite a while to come. I imagine. And we can easily copy paste it if we're wrong. All right, so this is heavy and light provider. This is lubricant and petroleum. Provider. And we're going to connect to the logistic train stop output. We're going to connect the pumps to that. So that we're not putting the wrong fluid in the train. 
So if I recall correctly, we get a positive number if the train is asking for something, and when it comes to fluid, a negative if it's trying to get rid of it. So here we're just going to say heavy oil has to be greater than zero, light oil has to be greater than zero, petroleum greater than zero, lubricant greater than zero. Nice and easy. And I think that's our build. Let's see if I can remember the offset. I believe it's 86 and 24. I think I got the train stop names set up already. Basic oil. Uh, we won't include the wide area beacons in the first version, but we know we can fit them there later. And I think that will do. It's probably more cracking than we need. And that does indeed fit correctly. Fantastic. Alright. Should probably put the oil products by themselves, kind of, in the blueprint book. Alright, has have biters eaten our base while we were designing? Apparently not. Fantastic. Can we still research? Uh, it looks like the answer is yes. What should we research next? We could get projectile damage. Does that include artillery? I guess it does. Maybe we should. It's only 500. Uh, weapon shooting speed, I'm not as concerned about for the physicals. We've already got all the laser upgrades we can. Uh, stronger explosives plus 30% rocket damage isn't bad. Meowgumin, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. So how do you use the editor extensions where it goes into a separate instance from the real world? Uh, if you have editor extensions, go to settings, mod settings, per player tab, and then it's the last setting under editor extensions. Just anything other than off. And uh, so that's the testing lab. And if you mouse over this and look at the tip, uh, it tells you to turn this setting off as well if you don't want to cheat. So that's how that works. Otherwise, when you come back from the editor, whatever's in your hand you can bring with you. Uh, we have at least 100 destroyer capsules. Fantastic. We've actually got another 28 after this. Also make sure to disable sync inventory. Exactly. Um, I don't think we have refineries or chemical plants. Oh, we do have chemical plants. Fantastic. How, ma how many refineries was that? Like, less than 20, I think? Fourteen. Well, we'll have those in just a moment. Uh, let's request some... How many chemical plants do we need? Chemical plant 24. Okay. and 24 
Oil refinery negative three. Uh oh. My inventory's full again. Uh, get out of here coal, get out of here wood, get out of here stone. I'll hold on to the fuel processes. Get out of here air purifier. I should probably just carry enough for one train at a time. By default. Especially since it's such a short trip, a uh, short trip to the depot. And that seems good. So we're going to put our oil block here. And we're going to need how many huge storage tanks? 43. That's a bit more than I'm carrying. Uh, where's my request for them? Here they are. Anything else we're going to run out of? Uh, we've got steel pumps all the time now. Fantastic. Uh, some steel pipe. Probably extra pipe. 160. Let's call it 200 for each. I only actually need a handful of steel pipe, but we'll call it 50. You need 49 tanks? Wait, what? Didn't we just count them? 49. Oh, did I misread it? How did I get 43? I guess I just misread the 9. You forget the train tanks, as in the fluid wagons. We've got one fluid wagon, so it'll at least work. How many shells do we have now? 53. We're making those with surprising ease. Uh, it stacks to 25, so... So let's bring a few more. Only count the inner tanks? Wait, what? This is 49, including the input-output tanks. Okay. We just need two more, come on! There we go. Where are they? I wish we could sort. <laughs> really do. Alright, we're good. And let's go get our first oil block done. Right after we switch off our uh, combat gear. Gonna run out of energy for the bots at this rate. Oh, no, I forgot. The portable nuclear reactor is... Well, the bots are still consuming this battery faster than the reactor can keep up with. What is that flickering? Oh, is it to do with the... It's probably got something to do with the lighted substations coming on. Probably. 
You saw nothing. Any more purple down here? I don't think so. Oh, a little bit. Wait, how did we... I guess I didn't give time for the bots to bring me those pipes and or I didn't have room in my inventory for them. We've already got oil coming. Fantastic. I haven't even made the pump jacks yet, but we've got oil uh, coming from or fragment processing. It's also giving us raw rare metals even though we're not using chlorine to farm this. Uh, to mine it rather. Alright so is this literally just like a couple of pairs of pipes to finish the build? I think it might be. There's also one down here. Fantastic. Alright, I think that's it. We need some water as well. So let's get that handled. And down we go. Remember input water, indeed. And as always, it doesn't quite line up with where an offshore pump is going to go. I think. Oh, it does. Fantastic. I don't have any more iron. Oh, yes, I do. This might be just enough. Or I could use the steel underground pipes, actually. How did we end up with an odd number of pipe to ground? Let me just make absolutely sure here. There's an even number of pipe to ground in this design. Okay, cool. And did we fail to place any of it? It doesn't look like it. Uh, I don't have... No! Oh, we're one... We're literally one iron off finishing this build right now. Alright, get that stone out of my inventory, please. Just double checking, we are consuming the stone that I put in here. Because it's a dead end for the bot network. One off explosion? Yeah, definitely. Alright, get out of here. Steel pipe. For now. And here we go. Why do we still not have the crude, though? No path? No path? Oh, yeah, yeah. It would help if the rail network was um, connected. Probably go a long way towards getting our train over here. Fantastic. Train is in motion. Shall we watch and check that everything works? Crunch, 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 indeed. And then we'll have petroleum, which means we could make plastic. Wait, we've already got petroleum. 
Oh, right, because I was stealing it from up here. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't remember what... Fl was it to consume the crude oil, or did I want an output product? Was the reason I'm doing this right now. We may never know. But we should see... Oh, is power okay? No, power is not connected. So this is, this is how well it runs with just the wind turbines. That could be worse. I'll run these across here so that if I add blocks here later, there'll be no confusion. And lubricant? Why is this one? Oh, it's just slow. It's actually very slow. For the moment. Do we have power? We do not have power. How is this? Wait, what? Oh, we're still not powered properly. Okay. Good to know. That might go a little bit faster. Products finished. One. Fantastic. And there we go. Looks good. Alright, I think now would probably be a good time for a little break. Let's get some words on stream started. And there we go. Properties. How can you load two fluids on one station? With LTN, uh, we can detect what the train is asking for. So with the logistic train stop output, that's on the red wire. Uh, if I've remembered correctly, we'll get a positive signal for whatever fluid the train is trying to pick up. And if it's trying to drop it off, it'll be a negative signal. I wish it would do the same thing with solids. Um, but I think with solids, it just gives you a positive either way. But yeah, so we just connect that to the logistic train stop output and say, if heavy oil is greater than zero, or if light oil is greater than zero, and so on, on the pumps that connect to the fluid wagons. Master Block, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Did I save it? I did. Nice idea, thanks. You're welcome. And uh, let's get started with words on stream. We'll start that in about 30 seconds. I'll be back in a few minutes. Good luck, have fun, and I'll see you soon.
Okay. How'd we do? Fantastic. Let's continue, shall we? Nicely done. I did realize on the break that I forgot to do the logic for controlling cracking. Uh, and all we're doing is just connecting all of the fluid storage tanks up here with one wire. Connecting it to the pumps that push water to, uh, to the cracking. And we're just saying light oil has to be greater than petroleum or heavy oil has to be greater than light. The Seeker, thank you very much for the Prime sub. Much appreciated. Thank you. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Alright, should we hit some biters or should we build a bit more? We should have quite a lot of artillery shells by now. Uh, we have 63. We could have more. Let's wait a little bit longer. And what should we do next? I want to walk, uh, work towards those lithium batteries. Lithium requires lithium chloride, mineral water plus hydrogen chloride. Uh, we make hydrogen chloride with sand and water in an electrolysis plant. All right, let's do that for starters. And we've got fluid plus physical in and only fluid out, right? I think. Wait, why is that not... No, that's fine. Shell while building? I want to focus the shells somewhere specific. And we're not making them that quickly. Alright, so... What was the name of that chemical plant again? Electrolysis plant. Electrolysis. I should remember that. We did this in... Uh... Well, no. Wasn't this a bit different in Oxygen Not Included? Didn't it spit out, like, hydrogen and oxygen? Or am I thinking of something with a similar name? Water separation. Okay, so it's a different kind of electrolysis. Yeah, yeah, there you go. NG, good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Bit sus that when I sub, there's no notification. Oh, no. Well, I appreciate it anyway. That was yesterday, wasn't it? Or am I misremembering slightly? How are we going to lay this out? Just now? That's kind of strange. Well, appreciate it anyway. Thank you, Engie. Three months. Fantastic. Much appreciated. I definitely want to set this up to scale for later. Although this might... I was going to say this might be a bit overkill, but judging by the number of machines I built earlier, it's probably a slow process. What's our rate here? Only 40 per second. Hydrogen and chlorine. So probably hard to go overkill with this one. Is that what I think it is? There you go. NG, thank you very much for the sub. Twitch is weirdo, indeed. 
Just need to refresh for the share button. Okay. I actually noticed earlier today, I think it was Mike Let's, uh emotes. I just saw them appear as text when someone used them, and then I didn't even refresh the page. I just clicked off of the tab and went back to it a little bit later, uh, and they showed up as emotes after that. Alright, so we need sand and water. I think we're only going to need a very slow, yeah, a very, very slow rate of sand. Let's pretend that it's late game and we're going full speed. Can we put prods in this? We cannot put prods in this. Unless you count the cheat super productivity modules. So I think I'd probably put speeds in here. And a bit more efficiency in here if necessary. Plus a thousand percent power. Plus three hundred percent power. Is it actually capped at plus a thousand percent if you just go ham on speeds? Nope. No it is not. Never mind. I think I forgot the 50% effect from the beacon. Uh, what are we at now? Plus 300%. Minus 80. Minus 80. I think that's it. Yeah, there we go. Alright, so how fast is this? 90 sand per second. Okay, that's kind of fast. Um, does sand stack to 200? I think it does. Sand stack size 200. Is there a universe where it's better to bring it as stone? Uh, if we use like a pulverizer? I don't think so, probably. Let's see. Free stone. Well, let's pretend it's prodded. Um, rate calc. 1.2 makes 5.4. How about 6 makes 27? So a bit more than a tenth of the stack makes slightly more... Significantly more than a tenth of a stack, but it's not that big of a deal. Even with prod nines. Nothing quite like getting eaten by a bear and a pack of wolves at the same time. What's this? The long dark? No, I don't think the long dark would give you that many threats on top of you at the same time, right? Um, Alright. So I'll probably do this in rows. Uh, columns, rather. Maybe like this, because we could... That wouldn't really work, actually. Probably going to have to stretch it out a bit more. Horizontally. Long-arm inserters? No, I don't think I want to do that, actually. Because then the belt has to be even further away. And we... The positioning of these pipes kind of sucks, because we can't... Oh wait, yes we can. I think this is what I did before. And we've got room for the inserters over here. Um, however, can we position it like this and... No, we cannot. So we would still have to move the beacon one tile away from it. 
in which case I would like to... I was going to say I would like to follow the pattern where we have these in pairs. But then maybe if we do that... We can actually get away with this. Oh, that actually reaches as well. We can fit quite a lot under one beacon with these machines. Alright, uh, however, the pipes should probably be offset a bit different. Like that. And then insert us in pairs. Fantastic. We got there eventually. Can I flip this? Of course not. Even though... Well, it's not actually symmetrical. Never mind. Stack inserter is faster? Yeah, of course. Do I need it? Yeah, very much so. Maybe even two. In fact, considering how fast this gets... If we go all speeds eventually. 15 per second per machine. I think we should use loaders. Uh, a yellow loader would be fast enough. However, I'll probably be just carrying like purples by the time I'm doing this. Let's, how far, how much do we need per column? 120, that's more than the fastest build. Um, I don't think we'll go more than, like, a couple of columns of this. How much would we need? So that would be, like, a pair of green belts on each side. Which would make fitting the loaders really weird, I think. We could just build a bit smaller to begin with. Where are my splitters? Here they are. Hmm. Well, it doesn't have to be like a two-lane bus all the way down, I think. That's, uh, that's a bit awkward. Since, well, since the consumption is so high, we can use a lot more horizontal space if we want to. May as well. So something like this. And we'll scale it down for whatever we're currently using. Uh, let's see, the first half uses one belt. Wait, I should simplify this. We should just have... Just one belt like that. And the second belt is going to be pretty similar. Except... I guess it could go like this. Uh, one, two. And... like so. Cool. So what kind of rate do we need without our beacons? Oh, 
also, I don't suppose we can... I don't think there's a way to really make this work where we could use earlier beacons as well. Maybe I just won't worry about them. Uh, but yeah, what would our rate be like without the beacon? 32 per second. Easy peasy. Let's make... We're not going to have enough room to have an upgrade planner that works for all types of belts to whichever other type of belt, I think. Oh well. Let's convert that back. Maybe I should just ignore the loaders when we do the upgrade planners, or downgrade planners. How did you copy, then flip the mirror blueprint? Um, I can't do it with this, because it's got, like, strict, only rotate uh, fluid inputs. But with I copied, like, this part, and then F, I think is the default key. And you can rotate it as well. There's also a button, I think it's G. I think it does the same as, like... There's something that sort of does the same as flipping and rotating or something, but I generally don't use it. Thanks, you're welcome. Ironhide, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. G for vertical flip. Okay. Um, so yeah, that should be... Th these belts are totally overkill at the moment. They should be yellow belts even, but then... Who carries yellow belts these days? I could do blue belt so that this reaches... Like so. That looks kind of weird. Let's just do this. Alright, so our sand is going from 2 to 4, which means the smallest way we can manage that is like so. Except we're going to need, like, four in, four out to scale properly for later on. That doesn't quite work, does it? Don't love the look of that, but what can you do? You could move this out a bit. And then make this a bit more symmetrical-ish. That, that makes me feel a bit better. Okay. Uh, where's the middle? Right about here. And what about the f storage on the outside? We could use smaller containers than what we did here. Probably. Uh, no wonder I used the big ones. I hate the way this lines up. Or we could just do pipes and have storage down the bottom. That seems fine too. Alright, let's line... Oh, we can't do that. In that case... Chlorine can go here. Or 
oxygen can go here. Can we do the same thing on the other side? Yes, but the fluids are flipped, o uh, flipped around. And we don't have any solid outputs this time. So we're going to do what we did before. With the double fluid output. Uh, how fast does this consume water? 128 per second. What about with... How much sand was it? It was like four green belts, right? 240 per second? 960 water per second. Okay, so this should definitely be put next to the next to a water source. So we won't worry about bringing it by train. We're just going to request sand. And... Electrolyzer is going to make... Hmm. Can I get the recipe symbol, I guess? No, it didn't save it. Recipe... Electro... Oh, this is what we're looking for. Recipe water electrolysis. It's a little hard to see, though. It's fine. And we're only going to request sand. Alright, so sand. Uh, 200 times... 160? Two train loads, 32k. I should have remembered that. That's what one train load would have been last playthrough. How's the mod called where you can see the exact amounts of production? Uh, rate calculator? Is this is that this one? There's max rate calc uh, calculator, I think it's called. Uh, I use the one called rate calculator. That's the name of the mod right there. Styla Tosti. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Can be welcome if I didn't say so. Whoops. Alright, so we're going to have one, two, three, four. I guess we could move this over a bit. since we're not going to have storages on the side like that. We can almost perfectly line it up with the output tank. Or tanks. Mm. Let's line it up with the input in that case. Perfect. You did? Okay. Sometimes I have a little trouble remembering. I do my best. I'd rather do it twice than miss it, I think. Alright, there we go. 
oxygen and fluorine. That is clean. I like that. Uh, let's confirm it works with some cheat resources. And water. Fantastic. Forgot to turn off the beacon for now. That should be way more than enough throughput from the belts. Yeah. And what's this called? Uh, oxygen. No, that's not oxygen. It's hydrogen, isn't it? H2. Hence the two uh, molecules. Hydrogen and fluorine. Provider. Do not respawn. Uh, give it some power so that we can piggyback off of the substation that actually is enough we're two tiles off of this reaching sad this will have to do I guess all right And this is already set up for us. I think this would look a little less bad, but... Well, it's going to get broken if we change this to pylon substations anyway. So there's no point keeping this wire connection. Oh, last but not least, we're going to connect the pumps to the logistic train stop output and positive value means the train is looking for fluorine and hydrogen all right so that is chlorine and hydrogen um my only concern is if we get over full on a certain resource But I think I would like to have, if I am going to delete excess in the rail blocks, I think I would like to do it sort of centrally. I'm going to, I'm going to need more than to just say lowest priority station deletes resources though. Last time we had to make sure... Well, we only did it with infinite resources, like stuff that comes from core fragment processing. Uh, also, this should be a super high priority pickup. Um, let's go with... I didn't even name these... Oh, I did name some of them. Let's just start over here. Active pickup. means very high priority pickup because if this fills up something else stops so that is provide priority 100 I'll do the naming in a minute uh, but the thing was I needed to give these uh, encoded network IDs so that we could ban them from going straight to certain outputs. 
or was it the other way around? We only wanted the infinite resources to get trashed if we had to make room for something. Which means... Our mines... So this was on, like, encoded network ID 1, I think, and the mines were on encoded network ID 2. But as it is, we're going to have to have things like this set to encoded network ID 2. Hmm... I'll have to think about this. For now, we're just gonna... We'll, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it, let's put it that way. Alright, that seems to be ready to go. Snap to grid 86, 24, absolute, and... Uh, I should probably just do the symbol for... Well, no, we're not doing hydrogen chloride. I'll just do hydrogen and chlorine. Maybe I should do hydrogen chloride here, actually. Isn't it literally just these two fluids? Or do we need something else as well? No, it's literally just chlorine plus hydrogen. Could I do all three of these fluids available here? I mean, I could. It might be a little awkward. Especially after I just finished this build, but we could make it happen. So what machine do we use to make this? Uh, regular assemblers. Okay. No, wait, that's... We need chemical plants, advanced chemical plants, or biochemical facilities. So not electrolysis plants. Chemical plant. How fast would this... Hmm... Maybe it would be good. Oh, that figures. Look at how this lines up. Or rather, perfectly does not line up. Mm hmm. That is a little bit annoying. Not gonna lie. Hero Bits Junior? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Can we shove this under the beacon, though? We can. I think we should do it here. And we could maybe... Captain oh, True, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I, I think I'd still like to keep this where it is. It just lines up so beautifully. And we could maybe just have the chemical plants on one side. So, like this. Hopefully this is more than we need. It's not going to be powered. It's fine. And then... Like so. So that would still be under the beacon. And it's probably more than is necessary, right? I hope. Uh, we would be net negative on chlorine and hydrogen like this. So that's cool. What if we gave... Oh, we don't... We can't give it prods, can we? We can prod these. That's easily positive. Uh, I imagine 
even with some pretty basic rods, like the ones we've got right now, that would be still net positive on the oxygen and, sorry, the hydrogen chlorine. It is. And I don't think speed modules are going to change that. Okay. And it wasn't very negative, was it, earlier? I should probably prod them to begin with, even though it's going to use a bunch of power. It's only like minus 9% um, compared to the rate that hydrogen and chlorine is produced, even if we don't use any modules. Yeah, this is the minimum of these to consume all of it. So I think we'll go with this, and then something like, this is 200k, right? hundred K storage for that. Are we missing something? Oh, it's just going incredibly slowly because no power. I am, thank you, no worries. Alright, so that is hydrogen chloride as well. Um, feels weird to say that you can get hydrogen chlorine or hydrogen chloride here, but I think I will keep it that way. And this can actually connect directly. Whoops. Uh, like so. And now that I think of it, uh, this can connect here. So this substation doesn't have to be part of the connections. Um, can I fit? I can. Nice. All of that under the one substation. Alright, that turned out quite well. It turned out very well, actually. And for the name on the blueprint, I'm just going to go with uh, this molecule right here. Alright, so 8624 on the snap to grid relative, if I recall correctly. Basic hydrogen fluoride. I don't necessarily... Oh, I should do some balancing as well. So, like... Oh, this is easy. We can just put pumps here. To control it. Actually, we could just use the one output pump instead. That would save a tiny bit of power. And also we would be, you know, pumping the output over here. So we're going to say... If everything is greater than or equal to... Uh, wait, would each have the same effect? We can't do each. If everything, every signal is greater than or equal to hydrogen chloride.
then we need to make more hydrogen chloride. Or should it be anything? If one of these is really low, we don't make hydrogen chloride. If either of the... Yeah, I think... Especially because we've got enough to consume basically all of it. Uh, we'll have hydrogen chloride lag behind the other two. As we produce it all. Uh, except that's going to include like the green white... Uh, the green light signal coming from LTN. So that pump condition is never going to be true. We could do anything greater than, which is going to mean if there's any of the input uh, fluids that make this are greater than this, we're going to make it that probably works. Jamot, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Does that work? The dual wet station? Uh, dual wet station. Do you mean loading up different fluids into the train? It does with LTN if we read from the... Oh. If we read from the logistic train stop output, as opposed to the input, uh, it'll give us a positive signal for when the train is looking for a certain fluid. And then on the pump, we just have a condition that that fluid is greater than zero. Novi, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Did you remember to set the hydrogen chloride pump with logic? Uh, yes, we just did. After you typed it, I think. Alright, that should be pretty good. So how much have we got of everything? Uh, this is switched off. So yeah, the, the largest value is hydrogen chloride, therefore the pump is off. But we're still pumping here, uh, we're still making it here because there's no power, it's going super slow. Um, and it's not actually going to stop until this pipe here is saturated. Um, but once it is, we won't be making this anymore. More importantly, we can see that the pump is already doing its job. Cool, wasn't aware of that for LTN. It's pretty nifty. Alright, so this is our final version? Question mark? I hope. Can you show the logic on the pump? Sure. Uh, we're using the anything signal. If any one signal is greater than uh, hydrogen chloride, then we're going to pump it through. We're, we're going to keep making more hydrogen chloride until it is in the lead, basically. I was going to maybe use everything, which is... All inputs have to meet the condition, greater than or equal to, but we do get a single signal of green signal from the logistic train stop input that this is connected to, uh, and I don't particularly want to add a combinator to, like, ignore that. Like, if I put, um, well, that would be complicated, actually. I was going to say a constant combinator, saying, like, negative one green over here. But then if a train is coming, it's going to say yellow. If there was something wrong with it, it would be red. If there was a train here, it would be blue. Um, and we'd need, like, all of those signal types times negative one. It's, it's not worth the trouble. All right, so I think this is our block for hydrogen and or chloride. B. 
basic hydrogen and or chloride. Don't need the infinity accumulator in the blueprint. And I think this is it. That's going straight to the blueprint book. And let's build this thing. Where should I build it? And how many of those electrolysis plants am I picking up? 16. Anything else that I don't usually carry? Not really. North wall is getting... Not even scratched, actually. Oh, he bite a friendo. Good boy. Uh, let's pick up this stuff. Oh, how much, uh... How many artillery shells do we have? 200? That's as many as I requested. And we must have... Only 37 destroyer capsules, actually. They're kind of a low priority. Not because I choose to, but there's just an arbitrary order of signals here. And building a priority system is a bit of a pain. Um... I don't need this many tanks right now. I don't need this many chemical plants. I do need 16 of these, which I don't think we've automated, actually. We could do that right now. 25 is a stack. Probably more than we'll ever need at once. Mod settings on L on uh, Crafting Combinator. I have it only changing once every 30 seconds. So I'm not sure if Electrolysis Plant is a higher priority than this. I don't think it is. Can we just handcraft it? Uh, electrolysis plant. We need gloves. Automation core. And that gives us ten. Where's the rest? I need copper. Wait, what? Someone brought me something. Sneaky. Steel beams. Oh, it was when I handcrafted this. Uh, you know what? Just give me the steel. And then... How many did I, did I queue up? That'll do. Friendly Biter has no home? The bus is his home. Doesn't he look happy? How am I going to move him if I make a home for him? Like a pen. I'd have to like... Play around with belts until he... Finds his way over somewhere, I guess. Alright, uh, where are we going to put our electrolysis? Close to the water. And we also need sand. But... Sand is... Not in the rail network specifically, I don't think, yet. Because we did bring stone to turn into sand here. Because if we're not using prod modules... Um, even with the best prod modules, it's not that big a deal, actually. Inhumane treatment of the friendly biter? Oh, no. We're half full on this... Uh, 
mineral water as well. I need to find a, a sink for that. Should I do some landfill and put this here? Probably. Yeah, I think I should. Uh, I'm pretty sure I have landfill automated somewhere. Like here. There it is. Oh, that's a lot of landfill. Partition to move the bus so the biter can finally have a house. Uh, petition? Okay. <laughs> Tom Lee, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And this is the part where I'm really happy again that we've got a nice fill mod. Because instead of just a hideous brown mess... Let's get the fishies first, actually. You will not have lived in vain. Instead of a hideous brown mess, we just get... Whatever... Oh, that was less than I thought it would be. On the landfill. Still, we've got room for our roundabout. That's the main thing. That's actually more what I was aiming for. Alright, let's grab our blueprint. Oops. And it's... the offset is wrong. Did I not offset it? Oh, 8624, I think. That's how that goes. Fantastic. That's going to save a few seconds many times now that I've got that memorized. And I should probably... I could just do it at the stone mines. I mean, it's a good stopgap. I think we'll need, based on the last playthrough, we'll need really high throughput of sand eventually. So I'll make a dedicated block for it. But for right now, we're probably fine just putting a crusher up here and having another block, uh, having another station for picking it up. I like how the soft search found it with that. And another loader right about here. Should be fine. Where's my crusher? There it is. I should probably take it. I don't want to mess up the balancer here, so maybe I should take it before the balancer. Should bring the balancer down. Uh, Mobius, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I guess this makes no difference to what I was about to do, though. It's fine. Uh, you know what would be better, actually? If we do... 
something like this. That'll actually take equally from everything. And then a couple of loaders. A few more red belts, please. And we're done ski. Then a splitter so that we load these evenly. I don't really care how fast it is at this point. Like I said, this is just to get it working for now. And sub autosave. Might be able to set blueprint offset somewhere. Yeah, you just have to type it in. Well, you can just type it in. Uh, if you go... 8624. If you go shift and click and drag, you can actually move this around very easily. Um, but for our... Uh, for our snap to grid absolutes that we're doing, we don't want to do that. Still need red belt? Landfill doesn't go far. Ain't that the truth? Oh, this doesn't actually go in. Whoops. Now it's imbalanced. Let's do even distribution. There we go. And before I give this... Actually, let me just disconnect this real quick. And then I'll add the standard pickup template. We'll name it before a train comes, and then I'll connect it. That's actually slower than I thought it would be. Eh, it's not that slow. Still, it's a bit slow for getting this thing tested. Get a strong box. Then we need some large storage tanks. Can I handcraft those? Not really. Bit of rail. All right. So red belt and four large storage tanks, and then this is finished. That's a lot of stone. Uh, I'll be a bit more careful about it this time. And I'll put stone where it actually belongs. Fantastic. Those are huge storage tanks. Those are not as helpful right now. Has science stopped? Uh, yes it has. Small electric motors. I don't feel like dealing with that right this second. Has this thing been running properly? It has... wait, what? That's a really weird pattern. Half of each of these two columns is working right now? What are the odds of that? I guess 100%. Is there like a per save blueprint offset so I don't have to use different offset value for a different world? Where I start the grid a bit differently? I don't think so. We 
we are making capsules, that's good. Alright, so I want to finish this build and then go hit the biters somewhere. Actually do it proactively instead of reacting to something. Probably the southern front. Well, no. I was going to say, we've been attacked on the northern front, but they haven't actually dealt any damage in a long while. There's a lot of little islands that we could put our artillery on with this, uh, with this world gen. Very, very convenient. And I needed to bring... I think the only thing that I'm not auto-picking up is... the moderately large storage tanks. Which I've got over here. I want to get to Hagen, but the rate I'm going, I'm just going to end up with a mega base on Nalvis. Anno, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And when are we getting some sand here so we can see this tested? Uh, I believe it's... Well, it's 16,000 before it'll trigger a train delivery. That's going to take a little while with the way I set this up. Hmm, maybe I should have just gone with setting up a sand block to begin with. I could put one, well, almost anywhere, to be honest. Let me just pick up some sand manually. I'm not terribly concerned about how this, how fast this is just yet. And I want to go kill some fighters after this. Oh, we don't have water yet either. That would probably help. What's our max rate for water? It was relatively low. Oh, okay, that's bad. We actually need to attack the biters. Let's get this working first and we'll go. Where are my pipes? Do I have steel pipes on me? I don't think I do. This will do, I think. Can I put the offshore pump where the sand is, or no? Yes, I can. Fantastic. And we are two tiles off. Right. Give me some regular pipe. And a power pole. And another power pole. And it looks like that water is super easily saturating. Nice. Might be able to set a default blueprint offset. I don't think you can. Not that I'm aware of. Alright, can we... Can we go kill some fighters? This looks like it's working. We'll run into a wall somewhere where we have too much of one fluid or another, but I don't want to think too hard about how to deal with that right this second. Ok, 
Kalamitic? Uh, Kalamitk? Kalamit C? Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I don't really need this many signals right now, either. But I'm sure I'll regret getting rid of all of them. Alright, we have plenty of destroyers, plenty of poison capsules, plenty of healing, lots of ammo, lots of fuel. Uh, we want the artillery shells. That's a lot. Uh, that's almost 200, that's 225. Alright, where did I put the artillery? It's in here somewhere. There it is. Let's go return the favor. Where are we here? Gonna have to swap out the bots in a second. But first I would like them to repair this wall. Nice and easy. And shields. And I should probably find a good spot. Uh, is that... no. Well, right about here. They actually do have a path to that. I think we used this island before. So that should be fine, actually. Although, I wouldn't even mind auto-targeting a bunch. I think the range was just to here with auto-target. Where I put the artillery, actually. It wasn't that much. I could try defending the artillery while it does its thing. Like, right about here. It's going to be a lot easier against the red biters than the fast biters. I think I should just manually target for the extra range. Catherine of Sky, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Oh, there's another little island here we could probably use. Yeah, that I like that. And if it wants to auto-target, so be it. I'll give it some auto-feed as well. Power. Uh, I should have a wind turbine. There we go. Damn, that's effective. Although, it's gonna like auto-target just this one worm, even though it can hit a big AoE. Still, it's surprisingly easy to, uh, to produce a lot of shells already. Look at how small the range is to start with, although the auto-targeting range is way less than the manual targeting. Gonna cook some waffles with brown cheese this morning. Seems good. For some reason I was imagining toast, but waffles with cheese...
I should probably pay a visit to these biters before they pay a visit to my base 10,000 at a time. And how about some rockets while we're at it? And some pretty good value. Wait, I should use the flamethrower on these guys. They pretty much die instantly to it. Except then it's hard to kill them before the... That's, that's pretty first world problems. It's hard to get flamethrower value before the destroyer capsules kill them. God, that's disturbing. Just the way they all clump up. Yeah, when there's just a complete blanket of them. Yeah. I, I don't know the scientific name for it, but uh, creepy crawlyophobia, right? Back off for a sec so that we can use the artillery. That'll soften them up. Uh, Twitch to you, Phil. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Are uh, biters insects? I think they're too big to be classified as insects, right? I could get owned by my own artillery, but luckily it shows where the targeting is going. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Let's not, let's not be hasty. There we go. It seems the, uh, gen biters don't have any electrical resistance either. Oh, speaking of which... You know what? I think we have enough zapper right here. As long as we don't get our bots killed. Fantastic. Let's get this nest finished off. Zappy zappy. use the map set here. Is this in range? I think it is. Oh yeah, it's in range.
Size doesn't matter just how their internals work. Interesting. I guess artillery shooting speed wouldn't be that bad of an upgrade in this context. Let's not get hit by our own stuff. With a small enough nest we can just roll over it at this point. Nice. Removes the mark four seconds before impact. That's something to bear in mind. I can't remember where we tried to use artillery earlier when we were out of ammo, but it looks like it does go away eventually. about some of this. If I need to save a little bit of time. And over here as well. That is a large nest. Pretty sure it's in range. Uh, I need to look at the range with the remote. Yeah, it's in range. Holy crap! I was one second away from moving as well. That happened quickly. I guess my bots ran out just before that happened. <laughs> Let's get the spare thruster suit. I think it's in here, maybe? Um... Thruster suit... It's in the logistic network. Oh, here it is. And then... Yeah, if I hadn't stopped to just show that that was in range for the artillery, that wouldn't have happened. Uh, let's get some solid rocket fuel as well. Do we have it here somewhere? Or just any kind of fuel? Perhaps. I could take this artillery with me as well. Where's our fuel? Here it is. Give me that SRF as well. Well, that happened. Fortunately, no one saw that. So where's the, uh, corpsicle? So what? Right? Let's just park ourselves here for a second. And it's just down there. Ooh, that was close. That, that was actually really close. Are they camping... No, they're not camping the corpse, but they are uncomfortably close in very large numbers, and they are following me. Okay. Could you be persuaded 
to leave this area just for just for a little while just for a moment I can't see where the corpse is oh my goodness it oh it's right on the edge it's so hard to see all right let's try again I need a taunt Probably should have brought some... some capsules. Didn't think it would be this hard just to get back to the corpse, though. And they like to turn around after they get out of range as well. Uh, it's not gonna work. Probably should have considered before I tried that 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 was the spare thruster suit. All right, let's grab some destroyers. We do have them, right? We have 37. I can't... Oh, here they are. So do I make an... <laughs> do I make another spare thruster suit, or do I take the car? Well, let's take the car. It's been a while. Use the console ping? Probably should have done that. They were being very territorial around nothing in particular except for where my corpse happened to be. I wonder if it was deliberate. That's not a car. Where's the car? Oh, there it is. Thank you, squeak through. Crunch, crunch, crunch. How much fuel do we have? Lots. We've even got some ammo. Not that it's going to do much compared to the capsules. I think I need to change LTNs. Uh, announcement settings. Errors and warnings, notifications, detailed messages. Uh, I guess we're turning it off. I would like to have warnings that were more severe only, but I guess not. Didn't realize you can farm med packs by dying. Pro strats. If I recall correctly, uh, speedrunning Deus Ex, dying was actually a pro strat. I forget how it worked though. Try not to get hit by a train, as unlikely as it is to be coming here at any given time. Oh, come on, that... That hitbox, though. Where's the best way to... S best spot to squeeze through here? I could just pick up the car. 
That's one way. Should probably make sure all of this crap is in the car, otherwise... We're not going to be able to pick up our corpse. Invisible rock. I should try and stick to the white bits. Yeah, I really should have been more careful with the spare thruster suit. But I don't want to make a third one. At least we'll be preventing a few attacks on the base. So where were we? Down here? We're getting there. You can disable warnings from specific stations with LTN combinators. Interesting. I don't think it's specific stations I would want to disable, though. I would want to know something like... This train hasn't been moving for ten minutes. Nice to see you all again. Alright, can I have my stuff back, please? There we go. And now I probably can't... Wait, what? Didn't I pick up the corpse? Oh, no. What's... I didn't pick it up, apparently. Alright, we're good. Uh, I'm gonna have to drive the car back or abandon it. How many stacks of this have we got? 33? We can make room. Give me all of this, and shove this in here, and pick up the car. Fantastic. Other corpse. Oh yeah, I didn't realize there would be two, actually. Since I wasn't really carrying anything the second time. Not much, anyway. Do I not have shields? Oh, this is the wrong thruster suit. That would probably help. Good thing I only got a little scratch before I noticed. Go back and park the car and the thruster suit. It's fine. I'll never be overconfident again. Literally impossible. Or more to the point, I'll make sure I'm sitting on the water whenever I'm looking at the map. Nope. You don't say. Did they really grow all of this back? Wow. I definitely targeted this, and I don't think we ran out of shells. That is some fast work. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Yes, indeed.
definitely won't be standing still while looking at the map. Like that again. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Still got shells coming in. I'm not seeing the mark that tells us that the shells are coming, actually. Um, I'm a little scared that it's going to hit us. Looking forward to the walk back in a few minutes. Nah, we hardly ever die. It's only... Only in the most unlikely scenarios. Do we have artillery on the way? No, it's only aimed at the next base. Alright, cool. Fantastic. How are they dying? There we go. Alright, on to the next one. We have shells on the way, we do not. Wow, they are... Really growing back quickly. Also, that worm is terrifying. Should probably use it some rockets. There we go. I guess they don't grow back, just artillery mark expires too soon? No, the artillery mark will stay there for quite a while. And we could see that some of the... some of the nests have been destroyed. Shelling needs to be more dense? I don't think that's it. I mean, we could observe next time. It'll be a worthwhile experiment. Important military intelligence. For the cost of a few shells. Can I not move? There we go. Fantastic. Let's get on the water. Check the range of... what's this? Check the range of the artillery. Uh, with the remote, that is. Alright, we can reach all of this, that's good. So, I want to hit this nest quite a lot. And we're going to wait and see what happens. What's the best weapon of this game? Uh, from what I've used, I'd say the Tesla gun. And that's from the whole playthrough last time. But that was without... 
uh, K2 or some other combat stuff I added. When you're shelling the first half, the other expires, so you don't have your first mark and the closest half. No, I don't think the shell marks are expiring that quickly. I did mark here though, did I not? Oh, huh. maybe I stand corrected. We have ammo. We have lots of ammo. But how quickly does some of this grow back? Or maybe we have to be close before it starts spawning stuff like that. I doubt it. Maybe it does just spawn those things in response to a nearby threat. Your one cannon can't keep up? From what I had seen, the shell... The shell marks last quite a long time. Is it only certain types of fighter nests that do the spawning thing? I think I've seen it the most with uh, regen biters. Hmm. We could try shelling some regens and see what happens. Now that I look for it, I'm not seeing any of those spawn things while we attack this base. Alright, let's get rid of the yellows first. They're the reason we're here. And that base is probably big enough to give it some shells. Especially in the middle. I could bring more turrets next time as well. We literally saw some marks disappear instantly one after another and then being shelled. Others fade out over one second together like you place them. I see. The first shell that I, uh, the first time I used the shells though, one of the marks was still there minutes later, and I thought, I actually asked yesterday, like, is that going to stay there indefinitely? Or how long is it going to last? Hey, Lolilo. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, before I shell this one, or one of them like it, I want to see if I can show you the spawn thing I'm talking about. You'll see a big target, like when we point at regen biters, just appear on the ground somewhere. And not get a whole lot of time to point at it and see what it says. 
but holy crap, destroyer capsules are good at attacking these nests. Just gotta keep them alive. The biters are trying to make liars uh, a liar out of me. Yeah, we just lost a whole lot of bots. Very easy to lose them to the regen biters. Doing good, been doing some gymnastics with my daughter, nice. Three, four, five. I think I was able to count on at least ten shells, right? Fantastic. Was maybe a little too... Oh, careful. Oh, the they weren't attacking this because it was already dead. The bots weren't. They knew that the artillery was going to kill that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. army out of the way while we wait for the shells. Let's try not to lose our bots. Shells, please. What's attacking? Oh, I missed it. Is it just because we're killing them too fast that I'm not seeing that spawning stuff happen? That could be it. We're already kind of taking for granted being able to clear these guys much, much, much quicker than we used to. Gotta try not to get him killed by the worms. Uh, this weapon. How about some artillery? to think of it, uh, with the artillery I should just have it auto-target 
to clear the red nests and I'll just protect the artillery. That would be easier. What did you do to easier killing biters and bases in SE? Uh, as in, in my last playthrough without K2? C for Cat, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Thank you for the raid. Welcome, raiders. How's your, uh, the rest of your stream today? What did I drop by today? I think it was Maholic I dropped in on today, actually. Crusader Kings 3. Okay, I definitely don't remember that. My bad. How was your stream? It went violently. I would be shocked if it went otherwise. With a name like that. Alright, let's try the auto-target plan. We ate the Pope, as you do. We did not eat the Pope, we tried. Well, maybe next time. Is this too close? Uh, a little bit, yes. So is that the limit? Yeah, that's as close as it can go. I could push it back, like... This far... This is luxurious. I could probably defend this thing without the bots, to be honest, if we're only going against regen biters. This rate of trickle, I only need the laser. The crabs are really quite well animated, actually. They look kind of cool. Maybe the way the legs move is a little weird. Alright, let's bring more turrets next time. And, uh, how about some flamethrower? That seems like a good idea at this point. Are you out of ammo? My bad. to be careful about eating the Pope. There's good eating on one, but you can choke on it. <laughs> Gotta watch out for that. Pangolain. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. This is a little slow. I'll definitely do this again, but with more turrets. But, uh, yeah, our campaign to clear the biters in this direction has gone quite well, actually. There's a few fast ones mixed in, but not enough to change the strategy. Or tactic, rather.
Okay, we're killing an awful lot of biters because of how long this is taking. Let's, uh... Let's wrap this up. They don't want to prioritize the worms, do they? There we go. I thought that was my turret that got damaged for a second there. Alright, this whole area is nice and clear. I don't think we'll be suffering any particularly serious attacks from the south for a little while. Although, I thought all these were regen biters. Fast and common are a little bit worse for our base. But definitely not as bad as spawn abiders. Ah, uh, roasted crabs, indeed. Alright, let's go get more turrets and maybe come back with more ammo next time. Actually, I'll queue that up before I get there. And we'll get science going again as well. Might take a little break in a moment. And we'll get back to building after that. Jamot name in base? No worries. Do I have enough? Yes, indeed. Right about here. Fantastic. T hacks, I'm happy to report that my priority trains work so far. Nice. Very, very nice. I'll have to pick your brain about the uh the more exotic combinator stuff in there. Particularly the bitwise operators. Bit shift zero to the left, that was one of your combinators, wasn't it? Or was I just looking at one, like, that didn't do anything but had the same layout as the others? There's a new wall of text in blueprint section. I phrased it differently. Okay. Guess I should have temp changed my name to something way longer. <laughs> what for? How much ammo do we have? 55 shells, that's relatively small compared to the over 200 that we had earlier. We're not having trouble with the rate of production of destroyer capsules though. Alright, let's give it a save there. Fire up some words on stream. Words on stream will start in about 30 seconds. I'll be back in a few minutes. Good luck, have fun, and I'll see you soon.
Fantastic. All right, let's continue, shall we? Uh, what should we be doing now? I wanted to work towards lithium batteries, so I have a little bit more shield. I don't think this would have made a difference. Like, every time I've died, it's happened almost instantly. We would just have another hundred hit points of shield. But still. I'm sure we'll be needing those batteries for a few other things. Yeah, only 22 recipes, although that would include deleting that. Advanced tech card, personal battery mark 3, energy control unit, ammo, sniper, and so on. Research? Good point. I think we ran out of small electrics, and I've got another 250 right here, actually. Let's bring those down. We could start getting ready... Well, we talked about this ages ago. Getting ready to go to Hagen. Probably got the defenses to the point where they'll last a while. At this point. Piccadilly's a magical, indeed. Veldak, thank you very much for the gifted sub. Much appreciated. Soulburn, enjoy. Thank you so much, Veldak. I see part 13 and 60 UPS. Is this a new run? Yes. Did you finish the previous one? Yes. Yeah, we got our victory ship. I was pretty happy with that victory ship design, actually. Although it ended up much bigger than I first expected because the Nexus adds a ton of mass to it. Hello. We're saturated on four fragments? I guess so. We're actually saturated on all of these outputs except obviously uranium. And cold war. Uh, Rocket Tom, thank you for the Prime sub. Much appreciated. Thank you. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Can you water fill to make base an island, or is that just cheating? I think it's a little over the top. Um, that's the only reason I don't have water fill. All right, uh, how about we consider lithium batteries? So we've got our hydrogen chloride and hydrochloride, uh, hydrogen chloride. Uh, next we needed, well, we needed chlorine, I think it was, to mine raw rare metals. I should probably get this out of the way. But also lithium. That was our next step. So we need to make lithium chloride, which is just hydrogen chloride plus mineral water. We finally have a use for the mineral water. What was the recipe again? One... no, it's just two fluids. So let's get rid of this. Yeah, I mean, your mileage may vary. It how What kind of difficulty you pick for a run is up to you. I use water fill, but consider that to be unreasonable. I limit it to digging small wells for water access. Yeah, fair enough. So we're going to have two fluids in and one physical out, right? Yeah. In that case, storage tank, storage tank, uh, this is backwards, and then we'll 
build it around the wide area beacon that we'll have someday. Middle is here. Important message. Attention. Required. Have you heard about Twitch Prime? You can subscribe to your favorite streamer for free. Indeed. Thanks, Velda. Much appreciated for the bits. Kind of feel like I've proven I can run pipes with pumps a mile to where I need water. Yeah, that's a little bit of my motivation for using, like, bulk rail loader and stuff like this. Uh, this playthrough. I definitely proved last playthrough that I can make anything work with, uh, like, vanilla chests and inserters and stuff coming off of trains. Um, and this is going to make the designs to get stuff out of the trains a lot simpler, cleaner, and should be better UPS as well. Um, Alright, so what kind of building do we need? Uh, advanced chem plant, we don't have that. Chemical plant it is. And it was two fluids in, one solid out. Just wanted to remind everyone that the iconic and epic Christmas movie Hogfather is on Amazon Prime with ads. Thank you, The West Dude, for that important announcement. Thank you for the bits. Uh, nope, I am not here. Thank you very much for the sub. Much appreciated. Two months already. Fantastic. Thank you so much. Let's go, indeed. Is this guy an Amazon Prime bot? Uh, I have my reason. Oh, uh, uh, Lalilo, thank you very much for the 10 gift subs. Keeping the hype train going as well. Thank you very much. Again. That's, uh, how many now? All of them? 95 subs in the chat. Wow. Cannot thank you enough, Lolilo. Much appreciated. Choo choo. <laughs> indeed. Now we can sub if he's not here. Hmm. Indeed. Uh, er Eraser Chip. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Scashman, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Also, uh, is this what we're making? Yes. Yes, it is. Lithium chloride. So we're getting mineral water plus... How are we going to lay this out? That, that's not right. I guess there's no middle if this is 4x4 four four and this is 3x3. Three three. Wait, yes there is. Um, but we would need... Actually, can we do it like this? Yes, we can. Perfect. Alright, let's fit the maximum to starters. Uh, Lalilo, thank you very much for another 10 gifted subs. Very, very much appreciated. Thank you. I don't know what else to say, but thank you so much. What the heck is the difference between Vlad the Impulsive and Vlad the Imploded? I, I, I would think, I would think it's self-explanatory, right? Um, what kind of rate do we get out of 24? One acts rashly, the other is a black hole. Say nothing and just be you. I guess that works. Fair enough. Franco, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, so the smallest... The smallest amount of space we can do for this is like so, I think. Catherine of Sky, thank you very much for the sub. Much appreciated. Wow, the hype train is level 5? I'm pretty sure that's a new record. This is like, what, the fourth or fifth for the whole channel? Very much appreciated, thank you. 
and uh, Oppon, thank you very much for the resub as well. Two months, much appreciated. Hope you're doing well. The scam train is leaving the station? Uh-oh. Xenox, welcome, welcome. And thank you very much for the five gifted subs as well. Very much appreciated also, thank you. Apple could be liable for up to 36 billion fine in the EU for antitrust law violations involving Apple Pay. They claim they are not violating EU banking laws because people can buy Android phones. That sounds pretty much like Apple, I guess. Uh, West Dude, thank you very much again for the bits. I'm getting a little overwhelmed, to be honest. Just lurking usual during the weekend? Lurking is valid. By all means, I appreciate all the lurkers and all the chatters. Uh, I guess... Can we maybe flip this? So that it's always the mineral water that's on the close pipe. And then connect those like that. That seems good, right? And then... What kind of rate are we looking at for the fluid? I love any story that would involve Apple or Google having to pay massive fines. Fair enough. Alright, if we... Uh, level 5 hype train emote... Hype cheer. Choo-choo. Fantastic. Thank you all so much. I said I got gold conductor badge. Nice. Very, very nice. Much deserved, dude. Thank you. Alright, what, what would this look like with tier 9 modules? I probably should do it like this. That'd be a bit quicker. Uh, how about some power? Oh, does it show my conductor? There it is. Okay. Fantastic. Uh... Um, I want minimum power consumption. That's plus 800, so I think we need two more of these, right? Plus 100, minus 80. Rate calc, 960 mineral water per second. That's not out of the question. It's a bit much. Hydrogen chloride is fine. Lithium chloride would be... How much per machine? 6.4, that's not that crazy. Could do that with a stack inserter, right? Except loaders are so much more reliable, shall we say. Um, 153? I can't math right now. 76, alright, so 90 per second. Oh, that would actually be like two purple belts. And it would be comfortably within two purple belts. What the? Uh, so that we were... Oh, it wasn't in my inventory. That's why it didn't auto do this. Uh, so we could do it quite comfortably just with inserters for output. Um, but for now, let's pretend we have none of this, because we don't. We're not actually pretending. Can we fit some regular beacons earlier on? Yeah. Yeah, that looks good.
and then uh, how about here and here all right let's make this how fast would this be right now only 24 per second We could just use one belt, but in the meantime. I do want these undergrounds to be where they are, though. The way... the, the timing on the purple belts with how fast it moves, it look, looks like it's moving backward to me. Purple belt go we indeed. Steak tartar, or am I mispronouncing that? What's the individual machine speed? Only one per second, and it got all the way up to six with the good modules. That lines up well. Long arm um, is here. Cool. So this is actually what I've been wanting to do with all of these builds. It's laid out perfectly for upgrading later. The Mark One human eyeball is so easy to pull, right? Um, what's our rate of consumption for fluids? It's super slow. We don't need to worry about pumps or anything, at least not yet. Uh, given the way this lines up, well, actually, either of these could be mineral water, actually. This is, this seems fine, though. And yeah, chlorine, is it chlorine? It's not chlorine, it's uh, hydrogen chloride is on the outside. And then over here. Does it have to be this far to the side? I don't think so. Looks kind of weird. Can we make it a bit more symmetrical? Not perfectly. But we could probably... Let's put this here so I can see where it goes. I, I would definitely like the output belt. We're going to have two belts here eventually. If we go super... If that's, gonna, if that's what our late game build is going to look like. Um, so I'd like it to line up with this, or maybe this would be better. Is that too far? No, not even close. This is the middle. So we'll have loader and loader. Like so. Oh. Let's connect this up. And what are we making? Lithium chloride. Wait, 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 wait. I should check. Is there only one thing this goes into? There is not. All right, so it's a good idea to have this going into the rail network. Nice. Um, I won't worry about it right now, but I did figure out that we can basically set this up so that it'll be available to both LTN and vanilla trains. 
What did that second undo just do? Nothing, apparently. Um, and basically we can sort of reserve the first load of whatever's here for vanilla trains, so they'll be able to go through the space elevator, and we won't need any, like, special different train stops um, to be able to go through that. So lithium chloride, was it? Provider. And this is... Uh, mineral water plus hydrogen chloride going into chemical plant making lithium chloride. Fantastic. This isn't going to reach, is it? Let's put a substation... What I could do, though, just as an excuse for that to breach easily... Actually, no, this would get the red wire that's gonna tell us what we're picking up from the train... Uh, to the train stop output, but I can't exactly connect the green wire off of that. Otherwise, we're going to have problems. So, substation could go about here. I want to set this up so that we can fit the beacons in. So maybe... oh, that's surprisingly easy. And this goes about here. Fantastic. I believe you're missing a belt by the bottom inserters between the two undergrounds. Uh, yes indeed, thank you. I think that was when I made a little adjust- from when I made a little adjustment to them. Can we move this over enough? Yes, we can. It looks a bit weird with the wires, but I can pretend that I can live with it. Wait, where does this go? Up here. And doesn't reach, does it? I would be surprised if it did. Logistic train stop output is going to tell us... Where is this going? Oh, right. I forgot to shunt these over. So, something like this. This is not getting moved. Um, that looks a bit more realistic, or reasonable. Alright. It's kind of a little offset from this now, but as long as that's not going to overlap if we put this over here, it's not. Not even close. This is fine. Alright, so it was... Mineral water goes here. And because we're dropping it off, we'll get a signal of negative one from the logistic stop output. Uh, for mineral water, if that's what the train is trying to get rid of. And this one is... Hydrogen chloride. And that should basically be it. Now we have to request them. Mineral water. At least a couple of train loads. That's 10k. 
meant to be 100k. Fantastic. I think that one's set up now. Valdak will definitely post food in the Discord. Mixing in finely chopped onion and capers, some mustard, tomato paste, uh, Worcestershire sauce, and some pepper and herbs. Sounds fantastic. Is this it? Have we finished this build? It almost seems too easy, but I'm pretty sure that's right. Alright, let's uh, give it a while, shall we? 8624 is the offset. Train stop names. Uh, what are we making? Lithium chloride. Basic lithium chloride. And we can see the snap is correct. Fantastic. Where should we put it? We've got chlorine up here. And the only place we're getting uh, mineral water right now is right here. So this would make a lot of sense. Let's go build it. Is there anything I need to make sure I bring that I'm not normally carrying? Just a bunch of chemical plants. And I accidentally left the cheat items in the blueprint. Let's uh, get some robots. Let's autosave, I suppose. Robots are still charging, I think. We do have them, right? Uh-oh. Yeah. Uh, how do we only have logistic parts? Oh, no. Oh, my personal logistics was switched off. Um, was that a symptom of death? I think it was probably a symptom of death. Let me grab some of these, uh... Emulators while I'm at it. Wait, I meant to pick up robots. We can do both. Let's go even more Roboport. emptied my inventory of accumulators already. Fantastic. Can we hurry it up with the bots? There we go. Lithium chloride, here we come. And I think that might be the last step before we can make lithium batteries. Oh, 
I'm gonna need more rail. I think. Can I handcraft some? Definitely. Let's turn all our iron, I mean steel beams into rail. And we've already got fluid on the way. Uh, what happened to my storage tanks? Oh no. I guess the train's going to be waiting on us. I also don't have red belt. I guess I didn't... Yeah, no, I, I didn't wait long enough to pick some stuff up. So we need belt, pipe, and storage tank. I think the pumps will not work if both fluids are not full. Both pumps will activate regardless of content of the train. Uh, no, they're reading from the logistic train stop output as opposed to the tanks. So you can actually see it here. The logistic train stop output is outputting negative one uh, mineral water. So on the pumps we set, we, we read from that and we set the pumps to, if mineral water is less than zero, the pump is active. So we can tell which fluid it's trying to drop off. Mazzle Fazzle, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well. Let's grab some more pipes. And I think that's it. Where are we going? Right about here. Interesting, I always read the content of the train directly. Uh, so we could... But I don't have a bit connected to the vanilla part of the train stop. I guess you could read train contents. Yeah, that should work. We go. Fantastic. What is what's the other thing we're waiting for? Uh, probably way too slow. Lithium chlor uh, hydrogen chloride. We've only got thirty one k, and it takes fifty k to fill a train. What's this so satisfying, right? I love that the uh, I think it's K two buffs the speed of the construction bots even early on in the game. All right, we need sand up here to get this to move at a decent speed. Um, we've only got, I think, yeah, we've only got half a train here. I could force a delivery for the moment. Just set the request threshold to one, provide stack threshold to one. And I'll change it back as soon as that light goes yellow. That probably, maybe, is enough to push it over the edge to get the hydrogen chloride. What are the biters up to? Oh. That's kind of nasty. Um... Maybe we need to pay them another visit. In fact, considering how many turrets are here, I would say almost definitely. How did they kill this? I only see common and fast biters here. Judging from that last wave, you wouldn't have think they could have 
done any real damage. We also have brutal biters, but what's their resistances? Explosion. Could you sit still for a sec? Electric is negative. Explosion is positive. Laser is negative. Physical is a lot. Um, I don't think they're going to make much of an impact. Especially with how few of them there are and how slow they are. But yeah, they cut through in exactly the same spot as they did before. Could add some turrets. We kind of want the turrets behind walls though, because it blocks shots. Uh, Serial Dead, thank you for the follow. Well, welcome, hope you're doing well. Alright, so there's our sand. It's already running out. But will it be enough? Well, how much does it take? 10 sand makes 20 of each, and then it's 1 to 1 to 1. So basically, 10 sand makes 20. So to get 20k of this, we would need 20k sand, which is like a whole train. Well, a bit more than a whole train. I need to make an actual block to make sand. Could we fit that here? Uh, yes, we could actually. question is how urgently I need to defend, and I think the answer is yes. I'd kind of like to throw together a sand build, if I can do it super quickly though. Then again, we know I'm going to jump into the editor and try and affect it, or at least somewhat affect it. Just get this built to the to the extent that we can without going back. And then we'll go attack the biters again. There should be a decent amount of artillery available. Artillery, that's a lot, actually. Give me turrets. Do we really only have one? We got all that artillery made, but no new turrets. Okay. Um, let's shove this in here. That's not what I meant to do. What did I put in? Solid rocket fuel? Uh, the car can go in here, I suppose, because that's how that works. And I won't be needing pipes. We've got fuel, we've got bots, we've got repair packs, um, got some turrets, health, ammo, I think we're good. And we've got our turret artillery turret and a lot of shells. Alright, let's repair this thing first of all. I don't really want to use the bots for this right now, because I want to get straight back into it. Whoa, careful. And... 
as always, we're going after the yellows. And there's no purples this time. Look at where the pollution cloud stops. This is where they're attacking from, way down here. That's rampant for you. Um, we can chew through these quite easily, so I won't use the artillery for the yellows. Oh, shields would be a good idea. So, we need to get the commons as well. Whoa, hello. I'm seeing some bigger fighters as well, I think. Definitely haven't seen the fast fighters being this big for uh, yet. I don't think. Let's fling the bots in. Didn't fling them as far as I meant to, but it basically worked. I lost one. Oh, that's a lot. So even these biters are getting worms that deal a lot of damage now. Maybe it would be worth shelling them. They're still not that... T okay, that's a bit scary. It dies easily enough, at least. And... we're good. How about... We set up our turret right about here. That's a good range. You should get the biters dewormed, indeed. Chucky, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, the auto aim can be a bit wasteful, unfortunately, but it's fine. Let's use these bots while we've got them. Nice. More biters are coming. I could put down some gun turrets, but I don't have any ammo. Oh, yes I do. Let's call that plan B. I 
Are they all melee? No, there's some ranged ones. They're just not attacking. Um, why don't you set up a chest? And some power. Where's my wind turbines? They're always so hard to spot. Do I not have them? I do. There they are. We might need a few more bots here. Uh, it seems the creep is doing a very good job of slowing down the biters for me. Let's not get our butts killed, though. This is a nice choke point. Oh, what's killing me? Some acid on the ground, I think? We've got 170 shells left. I think that'll be enough to clear the bases that are in range. Quite likely. It's like watching They Are Billions, but with more firepower. That game is tough. Last I remember playing it. And it takes an awfully long time to get to the part where there's going to be a really big spike. And it lulled me into a false sense of security. I actually thought I was at the part of the game where I was just way ahead of the curve. And then it title dropped me, and it was all over. <laughs> Let's not get too far from what we're trying to defend. This is a pretty good spot, though. Probably pull it off with just my laser, depending on how they move. Come to think of it, I'm carrying enough wind turbines to run some laser turrets. That might be the way to go. Although the amount of space... 3x3 three three times 5 to support one laser turret's minimum power consumption. Still not bad to have it here as a last line of defense. Why don't we try and use this little bit of downtime to attack? Oh, because there's that many biters between us. Oh, I could use this island. That might be a good idea. Instead of having to worry about protecting the artillery. Alright, Adi. There's no sand bridge here, right? Pretty sure there isn't. In you go. And... Some power. Uh, wind turbines are here. And I could just go do something else. While this turret does its thing for a while. That game is definitely not your friend, right?
Oh, that's a lot of them. And we just lost our bots. Wow. Okay. You know what? Have some fire. Have some more fire, actually. You guys are a lot more resistant to fire than some other types. And let's bring our bots back. No, not again. Please. Okay. We lost eight with that bad maneuver. Commons are surprisingly good now. What the hell? Did they get a speed upgrade or something? Watch out for our artillery. Probably go somewhere where the artillery isn't in range. quite smoothly. So the common binder nests are very easy to run over. We just have to avoid the actual giant common binder army. Can I jump? There we go. Back the other way for a bit, I think. Can I move? There we go. What's my fuel? Lots. I should probably hit somewhere else because there's so many biters in the way, but... Pretty close to finishing this off. There we go. And down here. Should probably use these poison capsules I have. That seems like a good idea. I kind of forgot I had them because... The power creep. Not the poison capsules are weak, they just don't work as fast. This one's just about done. Nice. We've still got quite a few common binder bases to clear. Alright, let's go pick up our turret, I guess. What's that pollution from? Is that from my jetpack? Oh, hello. Hello. 
then it was this island, wasn't it? How's our range? I could definitely use manual targeting. Oh wow, that is so much more range than the auto target. I think research has been stuck for a minute. The faster you hit a base like this, the fewer hit points they have to block with the biters themselves. Also, we're finding smaller biters again, that helps. So I guess... It's, it's as if the pollution cloud is, reaches a lot further than it does. Oh, there's one of those things that spawn. Spawning... Oh, I didn't see it. Spawning something. I think it was an... Oh, here we go. Spawning Worm Champion T7. Is it just worms that spawn this way? I thought nests could come back as well. And on to the next one while we've still got some bots. Yeah, it's, it feels like when we get far out in vanilla and find biters that haven't been eating pollution that are a lot weaker. I guess I'm really incentivized right now to keep pushing. Does he still have backup jetpack in the car on him? No, it's back at base. That was a while ago. We did some building between then and now. Down here, we should be able to remove in a few seconds. Fantastic. bit greedy for damage there. Look at all of the teeny tiny biters. It's like the start of the game again almost. And they're hardly blocking any of the damage that goes into the nests. Wait, what is... I thought there was a glitch with the rendering, like this was something not revealed on the map. That bit of straight terrain is so weird. We're getting a lot of reinforcements from other nests, so we'll be able to deal damage faster if we go somewhere else. But there's no more commons down this way, except here. Oh, we got orange ones. I don't remember what orange ones are like. I think they explode, but not like nuke biters. What are they called? I can't get a mouse on them. Suicide biter, yes. So things are escalating.
I don't think they explode if we kill them either, so it's not like they'll die when they're rushing us. Dementia biter? What? Is that the type of biter that walks into a room and forgets why? I think that's all of us though, actually, from time to time. No one can remember their name. <laughs> I'm actually pretty bad with names in general. It takes a special effort for me to remember someone's name. But most people take it for granted like it's the bare minimum. Unless, of course, I hear that name over and over without going out of my way. How's our fuel? Four and a half stacks? Seems good. Well, as long as we don't run into them, uh, the suicide biters are super easy to deal with when we're attacking them. Too used to reading chat? Yeah, the fact that people's names are just displayed in chat, that kind of helps. Imagine if IRL people just had their names floating above them or something. Must be a horse then? What? Alright, I should move the artillery turret, shouldn't I? It's kind of hard to stop attacking because we're always running out the timer on some uh, destroyer bots. Also, we're incentivized to keep going. Just uh, to keep the binders off our backs. When we all move to the metaverse? Oh no. I don't think... I don't think that's uh... I don't think that feature would cover the cost of admission. Where's my turret? Is it over here? Or have I completely lost track of where I am? Probably. Can we get this before the bots run out? Surprisingly, probably. Yes, we can. Just in time, actually. Nice. So where did I leave my turret? Oh, it's all the way up there. Yeah, I really lost track of where I was. Uh, it should have plenty of range with the remote, though. So let's... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I'll head over and hit the other nest while the artillery is happening. We're down to 3.9 stacks of fuel. I gotta watch out for that. Oh, I made too many bots. Rip. I think I was still used to the defender capsules. 
that don't come out five at a time. dumb. Oh no. Rip bots. Yeah, I don't think I'm finishing off that nest directly for a moment. So let's do it this way. And back to the other nest. Oh no, one job, right? That is a big nest though. It's almost done. Let's go back to the other one now that the biters are chasing us down here. It's still quite a few over here. Not protecting the building, uh, the nests though. Alright, now let's circle around from the northwest. Fantastic. What's this? Oh, that's not biters, that's crude oil. Same colour on the map, almost. <laughs> Is... I, I guess that counter can... I, I can never escape this counter, can I? Oh, wow. Okay, that was brutal. Alright, um, back over here. Hey, Yatuwatu. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. That's that nest gone. I think we're getting close to done for now, I hope. I'd like to get back to building for the rest of the stream. I don't mind taking a break from building to kill biters, but sometimes they compel us to play with them when we feel like building. Alright, and those are not biters. I'm not too worried about the suicide biters yet, and we're pretty far as well. Blah 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 break blah blah. That's what I heard words. Um yes. With biter expansion on this would be a slug fest. Yeah, that's why it's off. Because it was a slug fest last time, even without um rampant biters. Like, it was a slugfest even with artillery walls and Spidertron armies and, uh, what is it called? Weapon delivery systems? Um, and I didn't want that for this playthrough. Alright, where are we going? Did I miss my turret? 
No, I picked it up. How did I forget? Okay, let's head back, and hopefully our wall is going to be a lot safer for at least seven minutes. A little bit easy to get lost. Repair bots go. And I might leave myself here in range to repair this. Let's do a little save. Research? That might be a good idea. What are we stuck on? Stone. Uh oh. Uh. We might actually be running pretty low on stone. We've got a bit here. Um, that's the wrong chest. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Well, it'll work. Do we have a filter we can swap that for? We do not. Um, why don't I just do that instead? There we go. Alright, let's give that a save just in case. Right after I give myself some more Robocorp range. Stand right about here. And we'll get some words on stream going. Shame glaive beams can't really be used on Navis. I like setting them up on autopilot. Actually, I saw, um, apparently glaive beams jump around now when they're on auto glaive. So maybe it's not that bad. Then again, maybe it'll uh, cook your base sometimes anyway. All right, we'll start words on stream in about 30 seconds. I'll be back in a few minutes. Good luck, have fun, and I'll see you soon.
Oh, this one's looking tough. Uh, Demwara, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. The H is fake. That was rough. I guess it is level 15. That's not too bad, right? One more before we go back to factory. Threw his hands in the air, right? Okay. Casually getting the required points in like three seconds this time. Let's continue with Factorio. I'd like to get, let's say, three blocks done in the time we have left today. That might be a little ambitious. Let's go for it. Oh, I should have checked. I mean, I guess I don't really have much of a way to check. Did that wall get attacked anymore while I was waiting? Uh, while I was standing there? Alright, let's dump this stone. Uh, figure out what we're doing next. That's right, I wanted to do a sand block. Alright, turn off RoboPort. Make sure all my bots are in my backpack. Let's jump back to... Come to think of it, I don't suppose... I don't suppose my player character is going to get resupplied while we're in editor mode, but it's fine. We already saved this blueprint, right? Lithium chloride. Did we build it? I think we did, and now we need sand. Yeah. Uh, although it is good to see it working. It's actually working quite a lot. Um, okay, it's prerequisite isn't working right now, so it's probably just the bursty um, production of... 
having a train-based system when we're short on resources. Um, but yeah, we can drop this and we'll get ourselves a basic block. Um, it's probably going to be super easy to make this overkill because I remember it being super easy in the last playthrough. We're going to go for... Pretty sure that's right. Yep. We're going to go for some pulverizers. And it's just stoned in sand out, right? Yes. All right, so pulverizer can go here, I think. And that's actually as many as we can fit. Um, but I'm pretty sure this is already going to be ridiculously overkill for the late game. But maybe we want to have a few more machines early on. If we had speed nines, if we had prod nines, And if we didn't want to pay the cost for power, negative 80%, plus 300%, how fast would this be? 252 stone per second, 1.13k sand. That might be a little over the top. How many belts would we need to support this? The Evil Kento, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Fastest belt is 90 items per second. Um, we would need 12.6 purple belts. There's, we need more than one purple belt for each machine. Okay, that's a bit... Uh, that's a bit extra. How about we go for something like eight? Um, seven fifty six. Eight point four belts. I don't think it's even good to have this fast production in one place because the trains have to come in and out anyway. So like, what if we just, what if we just have like four? That's two blue belts of stone in and 378 per second out. Maybe, maybe there's a universe where this should be, like, direct inserting. Uh, it's fine. We've got loaders. But yeah, um, and then I'm curious as to if we had no modules, how fast would this be? 60 sand per second. That's already not bad. 24 stone in. And we could, of course, put a smaller beacon in when we feel like it. So let's go... I was just thinking about balances. If I use one splitter, that's enough for now. I would like to do something that scales, if I can. Uh, fastest belt is 90 per second. 378 over 4 is less than 90 per second, right? No, it's more. So we'd want, like, we could bottleneck on the belt. That'd be okay, I think. So 4 to 2. 
Should I just do four to two to begin with? And then it'll be easily expandable later. Um, something like this. Isn't it easy to make sand in block? It's not that much better. I have done the comparison for the stack sizes. Uh, and it also means we have to find room to make the sand. So it can throw off what we're trying to do. Uh, come to think of it. Okay, we can obviously stretch this out a bit. But I want to make it work with... with a small beacon as well. Hmm. If we bring it in one. How about this? We could just go... swap this around. It almost lines up. We could make it line up. I think. Where's the middle? I don't think it's going to matter if the beacon is encroaching on the other side. So we could have, like, something like this. Actually, let me just drag this up for now. And one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. That was one too many. Dub. And then... Like so. It's almost max distance as well. Why don't we do this? And this can be just like that. Nice and neat. Very, very clean. Um, and we hardly need any stone in, right? Even if we didn't have prods. Let's pretend we're just going hyperspeed here. This would be how much stone? 132 per second, so, uh, in other words, less than two belts. And we can fit one beak, one basic beacon between all of these now. So then we're going to have our input. Uh, how slow is this? Well, it's kind of fast. Let's use loaders for input as well. Perhaps. Like so. And mirror. And it was like... One belt on each side, right? So we could just go... We could just bring this through a splitter. Loader. Loader. That kind of mirrors what we're doing down here. I like that. And flip. And that should be it. So without beacons, without modules, we're looking at 24 sand. Stone per second becomes 60 sand per second. Sand provider. 
I want to be here until Easter. Let's make the most generic and expandable and tileable solution ever. Perfect. Uh, what happens at Easter? Besides Easter, what are we looking for? Stone? And pulverizing into sand. Fantastic. And let's go uh, stone. At least two train loads. Should be it. We'll need to power it, of course. That lines up really well, actually. Let's bring that through there. Seems good. And that's it. Pretty sure I did the station names and wires and stuff. Whoa, let's not alt tab, that would be potentially bad. Alright, blueprint. Snap to grid, absolute, 86, 24. Train stop names, sand. Basic sand, as if there's any other kind. And it looks like that snap to grid is correct. Let's add that to our book. And... What's with the lighting here? I, I guess that's what nighttime looks like, actually. Alright, I wanted to put the sand here, I think. That should be fairly sensible. It's... Oh, wait, 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 wait. There we go. It's not adding the wires because this was already here. And it doesn't work that way with that mod. I think I'm still requesting electrolysis plants. Let's get rid of those for now. And artillery shells, turrets. How many turrets do we have? Still only one. I don't think I'm carrying pulverizers. We can make them on the way. And bots. Let's get some more bots. Am I bringing enough? Probably not. We need 236 chain signals to make one block. Although we had built a bunch of it earlier already. I didn't bring enough rail. And for once I don't have an inventory full of stone. But we can fix that. Whoops. No, 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 no. No, stop. 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 All of the steel beams into rail. Thank you. Rebalance that. The 
there's a train trying to come here, but the roundabout isn't finished. And our pulverizers took longer than expected to handcraft because inventory was full. Do we have basic beacons? We do not. When do we get them? We need production science packs. Which is going to be from the second planet that we get exotic resources from. Would be something mods with separate desert breach, uh, beach and synthetic sands for all three, own the uses and sintering plants to make low grade sand into sand usable for concrete mixes. You could, I'm, I would not be surprised if, uh, what, Bob's or Pi does that? Any excuse to extend the production chain? Did I really just barely run out of rail again? Feels bad. Wait, nope. Nope, we got there. Is the train coming? The train is coming. Fantastic. And here comes the stone. And here comes the sand. Beautiful. Uh, we're missing a bit of rail still. Oh, I've got 27 in my inventory. Alright, well, that's functional, anyway. Uh, what's the next step for our batteries? We've got lithium chloride. Quite a bit of it already, actually. Now we need lithium. Lithium chloride plus water gives us lithium, and we get some chlorine back. Okay. I guess I could just treat the chlorine as a byproduct. High priority pickup. But in the short term, I have no consumer for it. Let's start designing. Actually, I should go back... And get some more rail and stuff. Oops, that's a calculator. Rail... Uh, 500 is a decent amount. Should probably ask for more chain signals though. How do the trains get fueled at the depot? Uh, we don't have... A whole lot of logistic request chests to spare right now. So we are doing it with belt spaghetti. But I did manage to make it a lot neater than I thought I would be able to. Um, so this goes all the way around the entire depot block. It doesn't go in a circle, but... Well, it basically does, it just doesn't loop. So with LTN, uh, whenever a train is not on a mission, it's sitting in the depot. Get it done. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Looks nice. Thank you. Do you know if you could make Space Science on Nalvis before update? Uh, no, you couldn't. I'm trying to find some blueprints that are updated. Yeah, I don't think you were ever able to make Space Science... Well, I the first version I played was 0.5 for Space Exploration. Um, and I don't think... 
that doesn't go in here. Uh, I don't think you are able to do anything like that on the ground. Maybe if you put it in a spaceship, but I doubt it. I thought I got rid of this. Oh, I have to do it here. I was going to say, I thought I got rid of that request for electrolysis plants. Are they smart fueling, or how do they know when to get fuel? Um, they just go back to the depot. So with LTN, the trains sit in the depot until there's a request for something. Uh, well, both a request for it and the resource available. Once they, once that happens, uh, a train in the depot gets assigned a schedule like this. Um, so it's going to go pick up core fragments, then it's going to go to the core fragment drop-off, then it's going to go back to the depot, and once it gets back to the depot, its schedule is going to reset. I just found a book for Rails that was updated like nine days ago, but the names on the builds are still yellow-purple. Yellow-purple? As in the text says yellow-purple? Or... They're actually colourful. Yeah, I, I have no idea. Um, I didn't do K2 last playthrough. It was just SE. So there were no purple belts. Never played with LTN. This is going to be my first playthrough. Got it. Okay. Uh, if I could take... If I had to give only one tip for LTN if I had like five seconds to say it, it's read the mod settings. Um, and I, I have my own opinions, but the main thing is you will probably run into problems based on assumptions that you make that I think are quite reasonable uh, that the default settings for LTN are going to give you problems with. Like... Uh, where, what, have, what have I changed here? Let's see. Uh, request threshold and provides threshold. This is not one of those. I just set them super high so that they effectively don't exist unless I give the station a signal. Um, stop timeout. Yeah, I don't want the trains leaving the station after two minutes if they're not unloading their stuff or something. I don't want them coming back to the depot with items, so I got rid of that. Delivery timeout is after X seconds, LTN just assumes the train was blown up or something. So it'll send another and another and another train, despite your train limits. Uh, finish loading adds two seconds of inactivity, which just means it's going to overload a train that was supposed to deliver a small amount, which goes hand in hand with the default request and provide thresholds of only a thousand. So it's going to request, it's going to set a schedule to deliver only a thousand or so iron plate or something, and then it's going to completely fill the train, and then it's going to get to a destination and not have room to unload, and then because there's the stop timeout. After 120 seconds, it's going to give up and go back to the depot, and it's going to be mostly full of iron plate at the depot, and then it's going to be assigned a schedule to do something else, and it's going to go there full of iron plate. You get the picture. Um, go through the mod settings for LTN is the the biggest tip that I could give for it. Vanilla, there are red, green, black, blue. Oh, the deep space belts. Yeah, I never made those because you get them so late that by the time you get them, it's like, well, I've already built everything is how I looked at it. Um, but yeah, with that out of the way, the main thing to wrap your head around with LTN is just, 
because the, the negative as a request might be a little counterintuitive, uh, think of it this way. For a provider station, all we have to do is connect this to the logistic train stop input. And that gives it a positive signal to say that this stuff is available. LTN always wants to push this value towards zero. So for a requester station, it's negative. And then when we read the items that are in the station, uh, that gets added. So you've got a positive versus a negative, and that goes towards zero as well. Probably have to watch a tutorial anyways. Yeah, there's definitely a learning curve to LTN, but I think it's worth it. Rebuilding my space base is a task of epicness? I'm sure it is. Uh, what are we doing now? Are we trying to build something? Uh, we wanted to go for lithium batteries today, if possible. But I think we're running out of time. Um, lithium, that was our next step. Right, so chlorine is going to be like... Oh, I do need electrolysis plants. <laughs> After repeatedly saying, get out of my inventory, electrolysis plants. All right, let's have a look at the editor. So our input and output is one solid, one fluid, one solid, one fluid. So I think I'll put tank here. And this would have to go here. Unless I'm going to put this on the other side. We need electrolysis plants. I'll probably want to borrow from myself for the layout. Which one? Here it is. Uh, this was actually the same, except it's two fluids out instead of one fluid, one solid. So... Oh, and we didn't end up delivering the fluid because water. I think it's still a good starting place. Um, let's start with this. Wait, what? Oh, I scrolled wrong. And this is going to be a bit different. One fluid, one solid out is what we're going for. Post on Discord later. Okay. We won't be needing this part. Or the substations, actually. Or this. Or this. Did that have... Yeah, it did. Okay, cool. It did have pumps. This was in the way. All right, so chlorine, I don't need this part. Let's just remove the clutter so we don't get confused. And we'll probably mirror this. And we'll do... How fast is this, by the way? It's super slow. It's really, really slow. How fast would it go with Wide Area Beacon 2? Tier 9 speeds, but with some efficiency. And can we prod this? We can. Still needs water. So 
So, wait. Uh, how much water? 6.4 per second, even with these super duper speed modules? Wait, what? Serious? Am I missing something? Is this powered? Uh, it doesn't have a proper amount of power. Maybe we're not getting rate calculator giving us the correct figures. 144 water per second. That's pretty slow, so we could build this wherever we want and have a train bring water. Alternatively, we could build it next to the coast. We can easily make that change. The output pipe does not connect to the other station. The output pipe... This one? Alright, so this is what we've got. This is not going to reach. Feels bad. Yes, that one. Indeed. Marcel, good to see you again. Oh, well, nothing. Hope you're doing well. Is this going to reach? Mark Merry, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Where does this fit? I guess this is fine. That's what we'll pretend anyway. Uh, what's the output? Chlorine. This is actually already set up correctly. So it is chlorine and lithium. Lithium. Provider. And this is looking for water. And what was the other thing? Lithium chloride. Derp. Water and electrolysis machine is making lithium. Whoops. And also chlorine. But mainly lithium. Alright, let's make sure it works. Infinite water. Uh, infinite lithium chloride. Probably don't need the loaders, but copy paste is a hell of a drug. Wrong picture for lithium chloride? Did I make it sand or something? Yeah, I made it sand, didn't I? Lithium chloride. Fantastic. Good catch, thank you. And last but not least, we need the physical output to go where it needs to go. Um, could we redesign the belts? This is going to be a whopping 7.2 or 10 per second in or out for each column. And that's at tier 9 modules. And without beacons... We're looking at 3.2. So less than a yellow belt, less than half a yellow belt, in fact, for the entire column on each side. So we definitely don't need all this. Uh, 
why don't I just remove it all for starters? And probably connect that somewhere else. Should probably put the fluid on the other side. And I think that would allow us to connect the wires like... Oh no, really? Uh, no, we don't need any wires on this. Because there's only ever going to be one solid and one fluid here. So we don't need any special logic... And then we can just fit, like, a normal belt output here. Alright, so... I'll probably just use red belt because I'm carrying more of it anyway. Is input slower or output? It's the same. So prod output would be faster. So I think we'll go long arm for the input. Should already be balanced, but I'm not going to trust it. We'll just bring them together like this. Wait, what? And splitter about here. Seems good. Substation snugly here. And of course that wouldn't reach. Hey Cyclomactic, good to see you again. Oh, well. And welcome. Hope you're doing well. We'll do input to the train like so. And I think that'll be it. Except, of course, for this. This Cyclo. How you been doing? Check the left input belt. Yeah, the one I just fixed, right? Yes, yes indeed. All right, so one, two, three. Um, get rid of this. This is already set up. Uh, except for the part where I requested send. Or I think I just didn't change this from before. Lithium C. How does this stack? 50. So a quarter as much as sand. So 8,000 is actually two train loads. That should be fine. Silent Storm, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. You can double the build in that half. Uh, not with... I don't think I can do that with a beacon. Maybe? Evil genius? Okay. Uh, is this the build? I think it is for now, at least. And 
and I think we're out of time. We got two out of three new blocks built out of our new, out of our, our ambition for the last, what, three quarters of an hour for the stream. Lithium. Let's actually build it before we finished. Screen stop names. That looks normal. Throw it in the blueprint book. And back to the game. Do I need anything unusual? Let's find out when we get there. And I think I'll build it right next to uh, lithium chloride. Don't you need a wire to tank on the supply side for the train? Probably. Let's see. Away go the pots. I didn't bring enough red belt, I don't think. I should have used yellow belt, because I'm actually not carrying any rex extra red belt. And it's going to be yellow belt speeds, even with tier 9 modules. Unless we redesign it before then. But I have a suspicion I'm not actually going to be able to double that elegantly in the one block. Well, in the, in the one half block, rather. Was that the Blueprint Editor mod? Uh, the mod is called Editor Extensions. And I don't know how long it's had this feature, but apparently I've been missing out on it for a long time. If you go to Mod Settings, uh, Settings, Mod Settings, and the Per Player tab, uh, the final, the last option under Editor Extensions, Testing Lab should be set to something other than Off. And if you look at the tooltip here, it tells you to turn sync inventory off as well, if you don't want to cheat. It's fantastic. Just watch out for all of your bots disappearing when you... Um, when you go from the main game to the editor, because... What are we missing here? Just red belt, I think. Yeah, just red belt. I need to set up a water train as well, but that's no big deal. Yeah, uh, when you jump to the editor, your bots, your personal bots, get teleported there with quote-unquote you, uh, and then they're stuck there forever. Code Acula, welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well. So that it only uses what you actually have in inventory and not bring stuff back, yes. So that you don't, if you don't want to cheat. Uh, red belt, let's just grab a little bit extra just in case. And it's a couple of minutes past time to finish the stream, so I'm not gonna, let's grab some rail though. I'm not going to take the time to make the water station today. Waking up, hope stream has been good for you. Yeah, quite good. Very good, actually. Good times, nice and chill, and some very generous people. How's... Oh, we've got common biters up here now. I'll have to attack there. Lithium. Fantastic. Oh, and... The fluid output is indeed not connected. 
but I also want to crank up the priority. I guess lithium's going to have to be a high priority pickup, but the point is we need to high priority get rid of the um, the chlorine. Uh, but that's going to be it for today. Let's find someone to raid. Preferably SE and or K2, but Factorio will do, I guess. Thanks for the stream. Thanks for hanging out. We got JD. I haven't raided JD in a minute. Uh, pressed the wrong thing. There we go. Diablo. Diablo's usually trying to finish his stream when I raid him. We've raided Tumbling quite a few times lately. Why don't we drop in on JD? I don't see anyone doing K2 and or SE. Take care, Neiman. Thanks for hanging out. Daniel, good to see you again. Take care. And to everyone else as well. Thank you all for watching. Do take care, and I'll see you next time. Check out the Discord of Blueprints if you're into that. If you have any questions or anything, by all means. Take care, Lalillo. Thanks again. Ben Wu, take care. Cyclo, see you next time. Uh, tomorrow we'll be back to Blind Calamity Terraria. And I think it's about time to go after the Empress of Light. Probably. Uh, but for now... Let's say hello to JD Plays. Take care. I know where my armor went. Out. My corpse is gone. Like a boss. Yes. Oop, 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 oop. Hey, hacks! How you doing? How is the stream? Spiders, we have spiders. We have spiders. We have spiders. Not in this playthrough. We also have it's very dark. It's very dark. I'm a